said I got to say something, baby, hand me the mic. I said I got to say something, better hand me the mic. Uh, somebody, somebody hand me the mic. Cause I got to say something, so just hand me the mic. I'm gonna really need to say something, better hand me the mic. I said I got to say something, baby, hand me the mic. Are we rolling, South Park? We are rolling. We are rolling. Cool. So we do it. All right. So thank you for coming. Um, right. Lunch. Lunch. Yes. Green. Yes. Mean green. Mean green. Mean yes. green. Yes. Thank you for coming. So what we got, right? Mm -hmm. You've been a fighter for twenty years. Yep. You are the first female professional MMA person out of the Northeast. Yes. Mixed I martial believe artist. That's correct. Yeah. 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 You training, you fought all over the world, you met some of the world's best fighters and coaches, you mm. featured on UFC TV show. Yes. You did. I did. Um, you are a coach, you're a role model, and you're an inspiration. And you're also a dog owner. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you? you are a dog I do owner. Have a dog. Uh, you're an all around badass Absolute lady. Absolute menace of a dog, but yes. Thank Tell you. us about the dog, because I, um, I heard on the Great Band there's a story behind the dog. Yeah. So um, my dog is called Dusty, and. Uh, my partner, he, for a long time, volunteered. Well, he still does. He goes out looking for lost dogs. Um, oh. I know. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> so that's what he does, him and his sister. Um, and this dog was kind of roaming about Darlington um, a few years ago. So he was involved with it. And normally when he gets involved, um, the dogs go back to the owners or wherever and... Uh, they don't come home to us, right? Um, and then this time, I got a phone call, and I was like, hello. I was like, he said, lunch? I said, yeah. He went, yeah, we've got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and that oh, was it? Have we? <laughs> yeah. Never. <laughs> to be fair, we didn't live together at the time. Um, so this dog, bless it, it, um, it came from a bit of a, a rough uh, background. It was locked up in the house. Um, the neighbours were pushing food through the letterbox for it. Um, oh, no. the RSPCA wouldn't do anything because it had food and shelter. Um, so eventually the neighbor kicked the door down and then that's how the dog escaped and he just went off. Um, he then got hit by a car, so he broke his leg. Um, and Will was the only person that the dog kind of let get near him. Um, so he kind of felt a bit bonded to the dog from then on. And so, yeah, um, he ended up keeping the dog. But this dog was scared of sounds, moving objects, people, cars, and like everything. Like proper scars. How old was it when you got it? It was three. Right. Yeah. So it has been so hard. Like we've nearly we're not married, but we've nearly divorced. Like over right. this dog. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, because it's just separation anxiety, like everything you can think of, like this dog had. And we used to bring it to the gym because we couldn't leave it at home oh, and right. it would just bark and bark and bark while we while we're trying to teach classes i'm sure we lost members yeah it's not good for business dog now. no um and just whine um he barked at everything he barked at kettlebells he barked <laughs> at the timer everything um now he's a completely different dog like it's taken a long time but he's uh he's a proper character i've seen a couple of your posts on the uh on the Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> he seems, he's a, like a proper friend, isn't he? He is. That's what he seems like. Aww. There's one where you're sort of leant forward and he's on his back. <laughs> yeah. or he's on your back. Yeah. And you're like, just, you know, you look at the camera and he's yeah, just, yeah. He he's is. just chilling. Oh, he's brilliant. Everyone yeah, what a character. Him. Yeah. Do you know, it gets, I won't say it gets on my nerves, it's more than that. It infuriates me that, I think, don't have a fucking animal. Don't have a dog. Like, yes. don't have a fucking dog. Yes. Like, yeah. you don't have to have one. No, you Do you know what I mean? And like, no. do you know, do you know what it is, right? Okay. Let's try and give everybody give it you should try and give everybody the benefit of the doubt. If yeah. you can, right? Okay. Yeah. So let's yeah. imagine this house where the yeah. dog's having a, sh a shit yeah. all time, right? Yeah. Okay. Surely, yeah. you know, maybe this person at the beginning intended on being a good owner. Let, let's 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 imagine. Yes. Let's imagine, yeah. you know, we don't know people's circumstances. Uh -huh. Life's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Let's just imagine. It's, it's transpired in such a way that the dog is now in this horrible position. Yeah. Surely the owner must be able to look and think, oh, this is fucked. Yes. Like, I need yeah. to give this dog up. Yes. Like, surely the, yeah. there's got to be a point. I, I'm not buying yeah. that this person's oblivious. No. Do you no, know what no, I mean? Oh, it's definitely intentional. Yeah. Like, if you said, mate, yes. like, mate, yeah. like, oh, oh, oh dear, you, this isn't right. It's like, you, this isn't not. okay. No. Like, 
No one's no. saying you have to bloody take them across yeah, exactly. and feed yeah. them raw yeah. fish. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But there's, you know, yeah. put some food down, let it oh, out for a wee. Definitely. Do you know what I mean? But we're past that, like his paw points sideways. Oh, he's because, got a strong hand. Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. strong Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, uh, as a pup, the previous owner would like swipe his feet out from him um, and it broke his paw. Um, like it doesn't, um, when we went to the vets, they said like, listen, unless it's causing him problems, like just leave it. Because um, it's like another four grand operation on top of to straighten getting it. his bo- uh, leg uh, fixed. Yeah, to straighten it. So yeah, he's got a like a... Weird Paul that points sideways. Good if he wants to point a certain well, way. Well, exactly. Do you know, <laughs> obviously you're a fighter. Yes. Surely was there not like a part of you that thinking, I'm going to go and kill this motherfucker who's fed this uh, dog like this. You know, oh. I'm going to go see this guy. Do you know what? Me and Will are very, uh, I'd say we're very chilled out and calmer. Him more so these days. Right. Um, and I'm like, karma will take care of you. The universe... As long as the dog's all right, like, it's all you can do. Well, he is all right. it's not all you can do, but that's all we did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, do you know that, what, is it Will, your partner? Will, yes. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, respect to Will. I, I love me mm. a piece of that. Mm. I once got, um, a few years ago, I once got in a horrible circle with a similar thing, with, but with cats. Oh, right, okay. So, quick backstory. I was brought up with cats. Right. My mum likes cats. Yeah. She's a crazy cat lady. Yeah. Talks to them, <laughs> yeah. little stupid voice, you know. With when my yeah. friends are there, you know, yeah, sick, ma'am. <laughs> and just by accident, this place I worked, um, stood outside. I was smoking then, smoking mm-hmm. a cigarette. I seen a stray cat, mm. and I thought, oh, I'm gonna, you know, look quite thin. I thought I'm, I'm give it a piece of my sandwich. Yes. So I went in, pulled a yeah. bit of turkey out my sandwich, give it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's that. There's your mistake because <laughs> you know what, what comes after that. The next day, the yes, cat's there. I'll oh, give him some more. Yeah. Before you know it, a few weeks have passed. Mm-hmm. You're now stroking this cat. Yes. Right? Yeah. Long story short, I ended up losing this job, right? Right. And basically, to cut an incredibly long story short, mm-hmm. for about five years, yeah. for about five years daily, yeah. I was coming back to the same spot yeah. to feed these cats, which then turned oh. into cats, cats with kittens, yeah. oh, you know, wow. yeah, okay. it, yeah, it was a colony. <laughs> yeah. At the end, it was a colony. Oh. Yeah, and you did a good thing. You did, yes, you did. You did do a good thing. It's um, it's a bit of a nightmare, though. You know, <laughs> yeah. you get home sometimes, and it'd be eleven yeah. o'clock. You'd realize you hadn't been to feed oh. these cats, and oh, Girls. I had my mum drafted <laughs> in to do it. Sister, friends, oh, wow. oh it was crazy. Yeah. But no, I got all the time in the world for the the mm. wills of the world. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he's a good dude. So, do you know what? Mm. Can I do a little bit of like, this is your life? Sure. You, you said, and you must be the only person to ever say half Thai, half Whitby. <laughs> yeah. So, your yes. mum's from Thailand. Mum's from Thailand. You were born in Whitby. Uh, yes. I was born in Scarborough. I was meant to be born in Whitby, but back then I was extremely, extremely, I was, I was premature. All right. I couldn't handle it, so they had to rush me to Scarborough. Never one of them, was it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But technically Whitby, yeah. Whitby. Yeah. So you grew up in Whitby? For the first four or five years of my life, yeah. And then up here? Darlington. And yeah. then Darlington. Yeah. So, right. Mm. Very, now, you know, nowadays, female mixed martial artists mm-hmm. is obviously not as common as male, mm-hmm. but very common now. Yeah, yeah, very com- yeah, yeah. Going all the way back mm-hmm. to what we're talking here, like the late 90s. Yes. Probably. Uh, 2000. 189, yeah. Oh, no, so you were about, what, 12, 13, 14 when... You started to fight? I was 14 when I had my first fight. So how does that come about, Lanch? Because that's very unusual for a lady back then to get into it. What's the catalyst? How does it come about? Were you fighting at school? What was a crack? No, no. What was a crack? (laughs) How did it come out? I was an absolute soft ass at school, honestly. Really? As a child. Yeah, I was uh, shy, didn't really speak a lot, wouldn't really speak up, um, cried at everything. I was like, really? The, the, yeah, the the transformation is just like unreal. I don't um, want to believe you. I know. <laughs> Do you know I, I think surely you, you, you're just being modest. No. Really, you're a little uh, psycho, you know, no? No. No. Oh, Quite. honestly, uh, my mum's Thai and she's very, uh, she was traditional Thai lady. So girls don't fight, girls cook, girls clean. Right. Um, 
you marry a rich husband like that's right. like you know that was her Good path advice. for me yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, um <laughs> i was actually talking about this the other day like growing up as um a female in our household um so i have a brother and he's older so in thailand the males are quite highly thought of so um he didn't have to do an awful lot around the house whereas uh, my mum had me like ironing tea towels when I was like five years old because you know I couldn't ruin them yeah. like sweeping the floor with like a dust pie and like I was I had to look after my brother and my dad same as my mum did teaching you to was, be a good wife yes, you know pretty that was pretty much, much yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so that was that was kind of like uh, my upbringing I didn't think anything different of it because that that was the only reference point I had and then started getting to like secondary school and um my mates get like a pound for emptying the dishwasher. I'm like, what? I was like, you get paid? I was like, oh, I just do all that stuff for nothing. And everyone's like, no, I wouldn't dare do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. all right. And I started questioning things at home. I was like, I was like, what? And I was like, like, my friends like get paid to do all the jobs around the house. And she's like, yeah, not in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. Um, so <laughs> anyways, uh, so I was just, Sporty at school, um, and the only reason I got into Thai boxing was because my best friend at the time, um, her stepdad was a Thai boxing coach. So right. um, I think I f went for my first class when I was like six or seven, but hated it. I cried my eyes out. Um, you had to, um, like all the parents are watching, and you have to get up, and you hit some pads with one coach, then you run to another pad, and you hit something else. And the thought of standing up in front of all of these people like terrified me that I just crumbled and started crying right. um and that was my first experience of Thai boxing and I was like I don't want to go back there don't make me go back yeah. and she was like good I don't want you to go back yeah, like yeah. great so I left that alone for ages and then um it wasn't until uh I was uh, 13 14 um, I was in my rebellious stage at school, going out, drinking, um, and, you know, getting up to no good. And uh, anyways, it's coming home one night and um, these girls jumped us from behind the bus stop. Right. And, uh, and I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. Um, but I was like, right, well, I'll just like stand here and like try and stand my ground. Um, and one of them got right in my face. And uh and I was just like, uh, we just get out of my face. And everyone was like, oh my God, she just hit you. Knack her. Like, problem. I was like, I was like, I didn't hit you. I didn't. <laughs> and, then, no, and then someone's like, why don't you just fight her? I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so I was like, okay. And then, um, and then I just got a feet done. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. No, I thought I got, that was going to end no, in like, that was no, that was the, the I moment. I absolutely done in. All clumps <laughs> of my hair were missing. I had white jeans on that literally ragged us all around the, gla like the grass. Nice. So I, like grass stains all down my jeans, popped my nose, like bust my eye and my lips and everything. Look at me. And I was like, fucking hell. So I like, went home, cried my eyes out. Um, and then, but I also thought, fuck, like I can't have that happen again. So I was, I'd actually gone back to Thai boxing, but just for like fitness. Um, and I went to my coach, I was, I told him what had happened. And I was like, listen, like I, I need to learn how to fight. Um, and not to go back and like beat these girls up or anything, but like my confidence just went like down. And I was of like, course. I didn't want to go out anymore. Um, and obviously I thought if that happens again, like, if I don't do something about it or change, the same thing's just going to happen again. So that's how I ended up just training. I literally overnight from just doing it like once a week for a bit of like fun with my friend to going Monday to Saturday. And that was it. Never right. looked back. So it was from then. Yeah. From so then. that was obviously that, the, was, that the, was the catalyst. Yeah. 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 You, something, yes. something clicked. Yeah. 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 You're not having that again. Not, not again. No. 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 So there was a time you were probably full-time at school and yep. training. You'll have been the only girl doing that, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Must have been, yeah. So, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm picturing the scene. Mm. You must have got pretty disciplined around that time, whereas oh, yeah. everybody was up to no good and yeah. you must have taken yourself away, right? I did. Um, that must have been difficult. Still, like, uh, 
it, at the time it wasn't because um, as soon as I went like full time into it, I'd fell in love with it like that. And right. I was like... So it was an easy choice. Oh, it was. Um, I loved it. I was like training every single night, um, being around like other awesome people. Um, and yeah, just great. I loved it. Um, I never looked back. I suppose it just made me realise that mm. doing difficult th- or, or, you know, be doing discipline type things, mm. it's not hard if you're loving it. No. If you're on the other side of the fence and you're yeah. thinking, I'd much prefer to be doing this than what you're doing. Yes. Then it's like yeah. easy. Like, it is. Yeah, yeah. The other one would be hard. Exactly. Like, oh, really? I can't train. I have to go out drinking. Oh, yeah. I don't want to. Oh, no. I, I get think. it. Yeah. 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 So that's how it began. It is. So, okay, we're 14, 15, 16. Mm-hmm. We've started fighting. Yes. Is it called an, an interclub? Yeah. I've heard that so, word floating yeah. around. Yeah, I had my first in the club when I was about 14. It was against a boy. It was against uh, a boy? Yeah. Right. It was in Manchester at Master Skens right. gym. Um, and it was all right. It was like a, um, I neither really loved it or disliked it. It was it was just a bit of experience. Um, but I did actually, obviously, because I was there so often and because I put that much effort into it, I started obviously getting good. Um so I had my first amateur fight when I was 16, which is, um, it's headshots, but you've got head guard on and a body shield and leg pads and stuff. Um, and I was feeling like like dead confident. I was like, oh yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And it was at a working men's club in Darlington. No way. And, um, and anyways, uh, I went out there. <laughs> And uh, this last just absolutely mullered me for like five rounds. No way. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> there was no tie boxing. She just windmilled me around the ring right. for like five rounds. And um, and I got so like, sick. like flustered and like, what the fuck? Yeah. I was expecting like, you know, like, oh, one, two left up, right? Yeah, yeah. My Ooh, turn, fuck. your but, turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she just fucking will like proper windmilled us. Went to work. Like literally like hitting us with like, multiple strikes at once I got out of the ring and I said Paul my coach I was like I don't want to do that again right. I was like no that's not for me um, <laughs> and then what he did was he made me fight a week later and I right. was like what part of that's not for me did you not understand um, and so we drove down to uh, I think I don't know Manchester Bolton that way and I had another fight and I fought someone who had a bit more experience. So even though it was still uh, like tough, um, it went a lot better than my first fight. Right. Um, and I lost that one as well. Um, but it was a close fight and I managed to like actually do some techniques and practice things. And um, and after that, I was like, oh, I fucking love that. Did like, you? I'll do this again. Yeah. Right. So I remember driving home, my jaw was like knacking, my leg was like purple from not blocking any kicks. And like, <laughs> but I was just like, no, that was fucking mint. Um, and if he hadn't have put me in that week later, I don't think I would have fought again. So it's it's crazy when I look back at that as well. Yeah, um, that is a thing. I, yeah. I, I can imagine, yeah. yeah. So... The first time props was was hell, and this yeah. yeah yeah props to the coach because yeah. he's he's changed that he, he he's he's made that happen yeah yeah I guess yeah God like I can't just can't imagine do you know it I we had a, a chap in here the other day Cameron um, yes Cameron yeah yeah, yeah. great what a lovely guy he is yes. by the way and yeah he, yeah what a, what a nice yeah. lad but as I was thinking about him I from from a non fighting perspective mm. I just can't understand mm. the mindset of just like deciding I want to be hit. Like I know the idea is <laughs> yeah. not to get hit, yeah. but you, you're basically making the conscious yeah. decision that, yeah, this is okay. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is okay. I'm going to hit them and they're yeah. going to hit me. Yeah. It, yeah. It's a strange one. Um, because like I said, growing up, I was shy, nervous, quite timid. Um, I don't like confrontation, anything like that. Um, and I definitely don't like hurting people. So, I had to reframe it. Um, it was kind of, uh, without sounding big headed, because I got good at it. I thought I may as well do something with it. That was the only reason that I fought. It wasn't because, oh, like I want to be world champ. Oh, I want to like, uh, like 
go and fight people. I want to do this, that. And I was like, no, I've got skills. I, I'll, I'll use them and see see where it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that's the only reason I ended up fighting, really. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, So there wasn't like, then, like an inspiration sort of thing? No, like, no. Oh, I want to be like that person. Not really, no. Um, uh, and it was kind of just, it was just part of the lifestyle, really, because I was training all the time. Yeah. It was like... Become the we norm. train, we fight. We train, we fight. Like, hmm. um, and at the time, Paul he had a lot of fighters, so it was quite a. Um, there was always someone getting ready for a fight, and it was just a good atmosphere. Which gym was this at? Uh, it was called Darlington Boxing and Martial Arts, so DBMA. DBMA. Yes. Where was that based? It was on Portland Place in Darlington, um, off Woodlands Road. Uh, it used to be over Albert Hill. I know what you mean. He moved. Um, it's an Aikido place, isn't it? It is now, yeah. 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 Many moons ago, that was a mini garage. I remember that when I, was was. A, when I was a kid. Yes. Little mini Coopers used to yes. be in there. Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah. yeah um, I know of that, Jim. It's it's a sad mm. state now. It's closed, isn't it? It um, it moved to the stadium. Right. Um, Paul retired and went off to Mallorca, left it to Michael Dix, um, and then now... Michael has moved elsewhere and it's called Fight and Fitness. Fight and Fitness. Fight and Fitness, yeah. So he's still coaching. Yeah. He's still coaching. Yeah, yeah. Still going. Yeah. Do you know, it's, that fascinates me that you you were just doing this at that age for mm. the love of doing it. You weren't... Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you, you say you, you didn't have dreams of becoming UFC champion. I mean, there wasn't no. a UFC then, right? No, I... Or was there, there was, but I didn't know about it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just doing it for I the did. crack. I was doing it for the crack, literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. Yeah. That's mad. Yeah, That's honestly, mad. I would go to, obviously, I've gone to college by this point, and I'd be like, wondering, like, could I sky of college today to go and train? Like, no way. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, that's you got the how bug. obsessed I got with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's obsession, yeah. that. Yeah. That is obsession. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Um, that's pretty unusual, that lunch. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty unusual, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Um, I asked Cameron this. Mm. I'm scared of getting beat up. Yeah. Okay? That's normal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing you're not so much. I. Um. So, I, I guess not. What's a fight you're scared of? Like, what do you, what makes you scared? Do you know, I get terrified for every single fight. Really? Like, terrified. I go for my last wee before I'm about to, like, uh, do my walkout and everything. And I'm like, fuck, I've actually got to go through with this. Like, I know. <laughs> right. Once I'm in there, I'm absolutely fine. But it's that, that waiting of like um the unknown um and it's and you know you've done everything you can possibly do in the run up to it you've done your skill work your pad work your sparring your cardio strength and condition i've done everything that i could possibly do and then even though you do all of those things doesn't always mean you'll come out on top no. it's that especially with mma there's just so many ways for people to win and like you make one mistake and they can capitalize um it's just and it's that all the work you put in and then uh my fear was always not being able to replicate it on the night right that was like going in there and having a shitty performance is like one of the worst feelings ever like going in there and losing but doing your best it doesn't matter like i've never i've never been bothered but losing well yeah yeah yeah. but going in and knowing that you could have done more or you hesitated or you doubted yourself like they're the worst feelings for me um but similar i guess to like if you're taking a test yeah you know you you've done all your what's that stuff called i never did it revision revision that was it yeah Yeah, revision you revise 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 but there is some people who just who just you know, yeah, yeah. just like, they, what, what's they the word? Crumble or crumble. they don't, you know, yeah, like perform. Yeah. yeah. And like, yeah, like you say, I guess mm. that is when, when the lights are on and it's that. all go, you can, yes. oh, you can like freeze up and like, yeah. oh shit. Yeah. And then when it's finished, you look back and think, what was I fucking Fuck. doing? Man? Why didn't I do that? Yeah. Why didn't I do this? Yeah. But when you're actually in a fight, you know, mm. you'll be the first to say you haven't got time to be, nah. it's all just split it second, is. isn't it? You just, and, and you find that your training just kicks in. Like, You've 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 done it. I especially the way we train, and I'm sure a lot of fighters train. It's um, uh, it's a lot of repetition, a lot of drills, and 
Um, we, I always had a game plan for whoever I was fighting, but I always had a game plan A, B, C, D, you know, right. if, if it kind of veered off and stuff. But, so before you fought somebody, you you looked into this person? Oh, yeah. So yeah. you knew what um, was coming, you knew what they did, what they didn't do. Yep. Right, I like that. Yeah. 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 So you had, yeah. I, I know what this person doesn't like sort of thing. Yes. Right, I get yeah. it. But occasionally, like you say, that don't work, so you've got to have a plan B. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they've uh, obviously maybe done the same on you, and then it's that whole uh, battle of who can implement their game plan the best, you know? Um, Do you know, you specialised in Muay Thai. Muay Thai, yeah, Muay Thai. first, yeah. You know I, I'll use UFC as the example. Mm -hmm. I know there's other ones, isn't there? Bellator, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mixed martial artists, yes. right? Each one of them, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. has like sort of like a speciality. Like yeah. Khabib was a wrestler, right? Yes. Basically. Yeah. Um, Connor was more of a, a striker. Yeah. You get certain people that are good at certain things. So yes. yeah, yeah. it's kind of akin to me to like old school Street Fighter. Do you not know remember Street yeah, Fighter for the Mega yeah, yeah. Drive? Yeah. You'd get <laughs> Gael that fought that way, yeah, your Blanca yeah. fought that way. Yeah. Similar sort of thing. Yeah. And a question, I, I, in your opinion, mm. which one of all these martial arts mm. is the best? Which one is the one that is, if everybody had a massive knockout, like mm. tournament, mm. blah, 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 who, what martial art would, do you think, would finish at the top um, and why? For... <sighs> Are you going to be for biased me, and go I, on I, For me, it's not really the art itself. It's who can implement it the best, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, difficult question. It is a difficult uh, difficult question. I would say wrestling is um, probably up there. Um, as long as you can uh, obviously implement your game. That's grappling, uh, right? Grappling, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um you know, it's uh, oh no, that's too hard. I don't know. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> no. Just because, obviously, from I mean, our I am as a spectator, yeah. and like I saw Khabib get to the top. Yes. And like that seems yeah. to be his thing. Yeah. What does John Jones specialize in? John Jones is a master of all. He just he everything. has the confidence to, um, yeah. He just use strangles all of people, his weapons. right? Yeah. Um, he can, obviously, he's, he's likes the, uh, Kicks, to, oblique kicks to the knees, yeah, yeah. to the face, uh, elbows, knees. Horrible. Um, yeah, wrestle jiu-jitsu. He's he's a he's a all rounder, definitely. Yeah, like you say, we we seen Khabib, you know, get to the top of his yes. his weight in his world, yeah. but all it would take is one very good strike, and that's the end of him. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just nobody got him. Nobody did get him. No. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Cam Cam didn't answer it either. No, um, it's hard. No, no. But it, it does remind me of uh, Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who do you think is the greatest MMA fighter, a mixed martial artist? Stop saying fighter, a mixed martial artist greatest in history. In history. Yeah, in your opinion. Oh. This could be a, same with the last question. It's opinion yeah. based. You know, one person might say wrestling, one person might say Muay Thai, one person yeah. might say boxing. In your opinion, mm. who is the greatest MMA fighter? The greatest. Um. And why? Again, I think it's a tough question because uh, obviously years and years and years, years ago, uh, people maybe didn't have access to what we all do now. Oh. Like, you know, um, look at the gyms now, like absolute super gyms. Oh, like yes. With head coaches in striking, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, strength and gun, you've got everything under one roof. Whereas... Even when I started, and that was like uh, much later on than everyone before me, um, you know, we're having to travel to all of these different places um, to get your training in. Um, so uh, the greatest, um, I don't know, my, my, my favourite pastime fighters is like GSP and Anderson Silva, uh, I think, uh, and I think people, uh, maybe of this generation, um, maybe uh, discount, like people like Jose Aldo, who was unbeaten for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then Connor came in and obviously knocked him out in like 10 seconds. And it's like... Was that a lucky punch? Uh, no, no, I think... He uh, did it he, anyway. Oh, yeah, I think he got him riled up to get Jose like rushing forward. And Connor's got that lovely step off 
uh, Rianne straight punch. So, no, I think that was worked on. And I found that a massive anti-climax, that fight. Yeah. I can remember it happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. big build-up, everybody excited, yeah. and then just... Boom, gone. That was Asleep. it. yes. I often think in that fight, like... It, yeah. I don't want to say lucky punch, you know what I mean? Because mm. you could say every punch is a lucky punch. Mm. But I often think if that had have settled and that, that punch hadn't have happened, mm -hmm. how would that have gone? Do you know what I mean? Well, that's it. What if, isn't it? It's, there's lots what of what if, ifs. What ifs, yeah. Um, but then I think if Khabib fought Connor 10 times, Khabib would win 10 times. I just think he would. Yeah. And he's just got his number. Yeah. But like you say, Jose Aldo, you met him, right? I did, I've yes. seen the picture, yeah. 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 So where were you that you were in... Uh... Uh, I went over to Brazil for a month to train at Novo Nhau, um, in Rio. Yeah, so it's where Claudia Gadella was training, right. Jose Aldo. Um, yeah, it, that was after Tough. So I was on Tough with um, Claudia and her Brazilian coaches, and one of them was like, yeah, you have to come train with us. I was like, all right, cool. I was like, sweet. So flew over to Brazil, trained there for a month. The hardest training stint I've ever done in my entire life. Was it? Uh, yeah. What was uh, so hard about not, it? Wasn't just. Um, hey. There he is. <laughs> is, this pre, is this pre or post, Connor? Pre. Um, Twenty sixteen. That'd have been pre. Yeah. Yeah. Pre -Connor, pre -Connor, pre, yeah. Year or two before, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so was, is this in the gym there? That's in the gym. Yeah. 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 And he's he there. was just training with everyone, yeah, yeah. Do you feel a bit like, oh, my God, I was like, is. oh, my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was so lovely, though. Was did he, he, yeah, did he live so nice. up to the expectations that you thought he would? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just like a, he's just like a regular nice guy. Like, he doesn't walk around like he's the dog's bollocks. He's just like, says hi to everyone, trains with everyone, like, yeah, it's just sound. It's a regular nice guy that could turn your lights off in the blink of an oh, eye. Oh, yes. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, do you know, like, these, you, you mentioned camps, right? Mm -hmm. Fighting camps. Mm. Uh, how hard are fighting camps? Because you, you hear the thing that it's, mm. it's hell. Um, yeah, they're hard. Did, yeah. you have to, you, did you have to make weight? No, so I'm one of the few fighters that doesn't cut weight. Right. Yeah. So you just and natural. And I think that kind of came to a bit of a disadvantage eventually. But um, in what way? I was small. Right. Small for the size. Uh, small for the weight category. Um, uh, I last fought. Not last fought. I fought um, on Bellator against um, this Italian girl, and uh, I'd already been told she cuts a lot of weight for the fight. Um, so that means she's big and she's big and boiling she, yeah, down. Yeah, she uh, drops yeah quite a few pounds. Right. Um, and anyways, I got in there. And when she hit me, <laughs> she literally broke my eye socket in the first round. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Right. And I was like, Oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, we're in trouble now. Yeah. Right. Um, not to say someone my weight can't do that, but um, yeah, she hit me like an absolute truck um Oof. and i was like what the fuck um yeah she bigger than you yeah so she was um, like in stature as well yeah she just had like broader broader shoulders um like a wider frame did you um, know this going in that she was gonna yeah be yeah um right but i've always i've never yeah i've never really cut weight for how come? Like How come before. you know, did, did never like decided to? Because uh, you could probably have went down a weight, right? Yeah. If you really yeah, boiled so yourself. Technically, I can go down to atom weight. Um, I did do a practice cut a couple of times. Um, but uh, obviously, there's not as many fights down at atom weight. No. So I just stayed at uh, 115. Right, I get you. Yeah. yeah. She does look like a big lasser. Oh, yeah. She really? looks, yeah, she she's like, bloody hell. Yeah, just should, like the, the weight. Yeah, she's, yeah. She's, she's clearly bigger, like, she's a bigger, <laughs> bigger stature, isn't it? What a great photo, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the game, isn't it, you know? But it is. I know, could we knock out one where there's a punch going the other way? I know, you know I'm I'm <laughs> oh, there we go. There Yay. we go. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she didn't like that one. <laughs> so that was the last fight. Um, I had one more fight after that, and then that was it. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, mm. do you know the when you're in camps and stuff? Mm. Like, yeah. are you 
what's the word? Like, I don't, maybe I want to say trigger happy. Like, so, okay. I know through watching documentaries and things, people mm-hmm. like Mike Tyson and, and yeah. real, like, they would get into a mode, like an absolute fight mode. You, you see them yeah. sometimes and they're, they're just, yeah, like tunnel Hold vision. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, do you get into, yeah. like, um, like that mode when you're in training, like like that fight mode where you become difficult to be around and like you get snappy and look, what the fuck are you looking at, do you know? Do you, do you get into that mode or no? Uh, kind of, not in that terms, but um, I don't see anyone. So like right. if I'm getting ready for a fight, uh, I don't I don't socialise with anybody. I right. will not see anybody um, other than the people that are in the gym because they're there. Um, but... No, I tend to, I love getting ready for fights. Do you? It's, I absolutely love, I love it more than the fight itself. Oh, you so and cool. I know. I said to Will, I was like, um, I love, uh, I love like, like the, um, the horrible sessions, the sprints. I fucking hate sprinting, but like, I'm like, yes, let's fucking do those today. You know, like, and right. I love the sparring. I love traveling. I love like training with different people. Um, and like having to like, this is all I can eat. I'm not eating off that. Like I, I love the discipline side of it. Do you? Um, yeah. And it's it's weird because I, I love the whole journey. And then it gets to the fight, and I'm like, all oh, right, I've got to actually do the fight now as well. Um, and uh, and then I usually have like a week off, maybe it's two. I try and just cram everyone in that I haven't seen for like eight weeks, and then right. I go back to it. Strip back on. Regardless if I've ever fight or not. Yeah. 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 And I've lived like that for so long and I think that's why I've kind of um just oh it's time for to just chill out a bit now. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz I'm imagining like when you're doing this like the diet is you just mentioned diet like yeah. you're just not eating what you want to eat. Yeah, so I am um, eating like a machine, like a monk. When I first first started training like back in my Thai boxing days, I took it like I said I was like obsessed, took it so seriously that like I didn't eat fucking chocolate, I didn't I was I um, was definitely underweight and I didn't realize. Right. Um it's not until maybe as I got into my MMA, I was I branched out a little bit more because you know, I realized oh, I can eat that and still be at this weight category. But right. before it was all like no I don't want that to have a negative impact on my training. Um, but obviously the more you learn and the more you, the more experience you get, you realize that a packet of crisps is okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. But yeah. you know, on the other side, look, yeah. eating food, it's not just about the weight; it's the fuel you put in your body, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So even yeah. if it's not affecting your weight, what yes. you're putting out can be like a yeah. bag of shit because you yeah, just yeah. fuel by shit basically. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Well, you yeah. know that, I'm, you know, I mean, no, of course no, you know you're that. right. Yeah. Um, the what well, you know the walkout you do this walkout or I've seen this walkout online yeah. love it by the way <laughs> like awesome that let's see yeah. this walkout so far is what's the, what's the story like where's that come from so it's a, it, it probably got me pumped I watched this last it. night and I thought yeah. Fuck, come on <laughs> I bet hurt the you bet your opponents wasn't as good as this um no this is quite unusual for a, an MMA fight. Usually people just uh, walk out. This is the first time I'd actually done that. Um, normally I have some sort of rave tune on or... Like you're uh, obviously not shy here. Like No, I got right into the zone for this. I, I can was like, tell. Like you ain't fucking fuck. about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, would, that would scare the life out of me. That <laughs> like seeing that. I know, I made sure I looked at her there. I was yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, you think this is a crazy bitch. That's what you think. This is a crazy bitch coming in. Oh, I'm in trouble now, wouldn't you? You yeah, think, oh, yeah, I'm you're fucked. Who's this? She's shoveling me. She's shooting me with an arrow. Like, I'm, it's done. It's over. Do you know what I fuck? Yeah. Was there, is there something behind there it? There is a story to that. Yeah. So that is part of uh, the Ram UE we had to do when we were tie boxing. So right. when you tie box, um, before you fight, you get into the, ca- uh, the cage, into the ring. You walk to all of the posts, you bash it three times, you bow your head and you seal the ring and then you do your dance. And each gym uh, has a different dance and that was ours. Right. So you, um, ours is you shoot the arrow three times, you miss twice on the third, uh, you land, um, you pick up the dead body. Well, you, did, you dig the grave, you pick up the dead body, you put it in there, 
put the gravel back on and stamp on it. So <laughs> it's quite right. an aggressive one. Yeah, yeah, that's There's, an aggressive one. There is one. some much nicer um, ones, um, but we we had an aggressive one. And um, I hated doing it in my tie boxing days. I was like, Paul, please don't make me do it. Please don't make me do it. I hated like everyone staring at you. And um, I still, I was still quite shy and stuff then. Um, but it, you had to do it. It was just part of it. Um, like a ritual. It is, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's just tradition. Um, I didn't know there would be a different one for mm, each gym. Yeah, there's a few, there's a few different ones. Um, I think that must have been his, um, so he passed it down to us. And you had the, um, let me say it right, hang on. Moncon. Mm, Moncon. 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 Yes, yes. And the Moncon is? It's um, it's the, the head piece that you wear. Um, the one I actually had on was made for me by one of my cousins in Thailand. Um, Love it. But uh, he obviously made it for me when I was uh, younger mm. and had a smaller head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I put it on and it was like cutting <laughs> off the circulation in my head. <laughs> I was like, I can't wear this. Look like you had a hair transplant, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine, yeah, yeah. So oh, well. just sit it on the top. Squeezed it in. Yeah. Like one of them little hats. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Are they traditional in Thailand? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah Is it so... like a, some kind of a war thing or not? Um, good question. I'm not sure actually. Um, because it looks aggressive. Like that yeah, just there just looks like, they like put those game time. On, they wear these um, armbands as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, What's that about? What's this? What's this thing they wear on their arm? They can. I think they can. Uh, oh God, I don't know. I looks like it's cutting the blood circulation <laughs> off, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I always think, oh, that yeah. looks tight. Do you know, like, yeah. but I mean, um, he's getting punched in the face. He's not bothered about oh, a this is it, tight yeah. bit of string, is so, he? So exactly. apparently a mong kong is considered sacred and is uh, thought to hold special powers in Thailand. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Did, oh yeah. Mm. Like I've just put two and two together. Mm. Like you did like Muay Thai, which is. From tha Thailand, yes. Huh. So the fact you were half Thai. Oh, nothing did, to do with it. My mum hates it. How can it not be? My mum hates it. Like, uh, right. I had to hide the fact that I fought and did Thai boxing for a number of years. Um, How did you do that? Uh, I just told her I was going to the gym, so technically it wasn't a lie. Um, You're coming home like lumps out of you, aren't you? Do you know, I've got, like, quite Thai, thai skin. Um, in Thai boxing, I never really got overly marked up or bruised. Uh -huh. Touch wood, I'd never, I've never had my nose broke. Um, it's, it, it's been cracked and it crunches, but it's never been like, you know, like cracked Knocked off to one side. Knocked off the side, side of your face, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, uh, cause she's like, no, uh, fighting's not for girls. Um, so I was like, oh, I, I just survived. I'm going to the gym then. Went to the gym. It wasn't until I fought for like, like a Northern area title. My coach was like, listen, I think you should tell your parents. I was like... You got all the way Fine. here without them knowing. I did, yeah. What? Yeah. I finally told them. What, what, did, your <laughs> say? what did your mum say? She's like, why did I tell you? Not for girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too late now, uh, mum. Yeah. My dad came to watch. Bless him. That was sweet. And that was that. We don't really talk about it. We don't it's just <laughs> Yeah, it's just one, one of them, them subjects that we don't talk about. <laughs> I love it. that's yeah. again it's another thing like against the odds like yeah it's just another against the odds thing just yeah 20 years ago girls weren't fighting really no very rarely your mum was bang against it yeah. you know even culturally yeah. you know yes. not just you know yeah, culturally yeah. Yeah. You, you know with your mum being from Thailand yeah <sighs> like yes, pretty so. much every arrow points to that you shouldn't have been fighting yeah I know so I'm kind of um I think that's why when I did retire, I was like, uh, at first, because I'd been sat in it for a while, and I was like, oh, but I, I never reached, like, world champion. I didn't get back in the UFC, blah, blah, blah. But then when I put everything into perspective of where I actually started and how far I've come, I was like, no, I'm actually fucking proud of that. Like, yeah. I've done a lot in that time. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so I was like, no, I'm, 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 I'm okay. Yeah. Like yeah. Look, uh, the past two nights, I spent an hour each night stalking mm. you. Oh, okay. I felt like a crazy ass girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I stalked you for two nights. Yeah. And at the end, right, honestly, Lange, at the end, I thought, 
this girl, she has lived a life. Like, yeah, yeah, honestly, like yeah. I was, it was like a fucking adventure. Yeah. Like, it was like, yeah. wow. Yeah. You did it on, it, it makes you like reflect on yourself and you're like, Daniel, like you need, <laughs> you need to get your shit together. Like, what the hell are you doing? Do you know, yeah. like, nah, man, it's, oh, it's inspiring that you. man. Do you know, really yeah. inspiring, like pff, mm. some girl. Do you know what I mean? Thanks. You're just badass bitch, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? Um, tell me about um, injuries. You must have had them. Yeah, I've had a, I've had a few. Um, nothing, uh, I say nothing. Um, I've had, first major injury was, uh, I ruptured all the ligaments, uh, in my ankle, detached one from the bone. Um, right. and that, that was like my first major one. Um, nice. right at the beginning. Um, but, uh, you know, it was, I was with Will, I've been Will, with Will for my entire adult life. Um, so I was with him at the time and he'd been through lots of injuries himself and he had like, he's had lots of surgeries on his knees and things. So he was great to have around because it's like, it's just part of it. He went, um, rehab. That's like first and foremost. Um, and you know, and you get back to it. That's as, it's as simple as that. Um, and that's what I did. Like my foot, I wouldn't, I know it's my left, but you wouldn't know there's any difference in either ankle. Um, he was like, as soon as I could get back to sort of drilling, he was footlocking me and stuff. So I wasn't scared of it getting hurt again and things. Um, and then I've had like little niggles and things, but um, the last one was when that lassie broke my eye socket. Yeah, like yeah. full on. It. I went to go get surgery, right? And I was thinking, oh, this will be it. Like I'm going to get like metal plates in my face. I don't know if I'll fight again. Yeah. And uh, that was the plan. And then when the surgeon went in uh, afterwards, he was like, "Yeah, so um, surgery went great. He went, uh, he went, your uh, eye socket it came off in one piece. So it was sat down here yeah, like a fifty pence piece. Right. So we were able to just push it back up, support it with some dissolvable mesh. Um, so there's no metal in your face, uh, and that will just heal. So she's literally." Just, oh, sorry, just cracked it off in one. Just, um, yeah. Just took it straight down. So I literally down. had a hole, like, down here. Um, so, yeah, so uh, that's what I was like, all right, well, good, good, good. That that was uh, the last injury I had. Have you yeah. ever seen, like, in your, like, travels, careers, mm -hmm. fighting, you yeah. ever seen one of them, like, you know them nasty ones where, like, the leg goes floppy? <laughs> you know the... You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. And you see it and you're like, oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Like, everybody knows. Like, when it happens, you can just tell, like, even yeah. the fight, the opponent, he'll, he'll just, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's a bad one. You ever seen anything like that? Um, oh, what is the worst injury you've seen? The worst injury I've seen. Um, like, with your eyes. <laughs> with my eyes. Uh, do you know? No. I can't. I can't think of any like bad, bad ones. I've seen someone like the leg flop. Sorry, I keep hitting that. Um, he used to tie box at the same gym as me, um, and he broke his leg three times. And he he did do that. Uh, checked a kick and it snapped. Um, yeah. So and then, so that happened to him, right? And then he then had an MMA fight. Um, through us at our gym mm. and his first MMA fight, right? We're at um, Total Combat in Spennymoor. Yeah, and um, anyways, uh, we're just like warming up a little bit. And uh, the first fight that goes on um, to start the show off, checks a low kick and snaps his shin in half, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think? And his girlfriend's right, I'm like, off, guys. Oh, <laughs> it's happened. It's going to happen to you. And we're like, shh, shh, shh. No. <laughs> fuck. And he's like gone white. Like, and we're like, no, no, be all right. Don't worry. <laughs> I mean, you're laughing. Like, can you imagine? Like, imagine that your first ever air fight and someone's just broke the leg how you broke yours in like um, Thai boxing. And oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Thankfully, he was fine. He did well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, that that sort of stuff is oh, literally just minging. enough to make you check out. Like, nope, that's yeah. it. Right, next yeah. bus, let's go. See you in a bit. Um, Do you know what gets me? Like, the impressive ones. Mm. I mean, I don't think, kind of, again, I'm just a divvy. I, I only know, like, the popular ones. Mm. But Silver, after he did the floppy leg, oh, he yeah. came, <laughs> that was a yeah. good one, that one. Yeah. He came back, didn't he? He did. And he fought yes. more. You know what gets yes. me? You've had a fight, right? Yeah. You've got the floppy leg. Yeah. Then 
whatever, months, years, whatever later, yeah. you're literally kicking people in the leg with the I same know. leg. What sort of a mind? Is, How do you, you like... You have to, though. But, like, like, can you imagine going through that process thinking, last time <laughs> I did this... Yeah. I got floppy leg. Yeah. I got floppy leg. I got floppy leg. That's how I did it. I, I broke my wrist when I was playing football in yeah. goal. I've still got PTSD to go and go. Just a just yeah. a five a side game against like fifty yeah. year old men, I'm terrified. Oh. I don't know how somebody could possibly get back in the ring after that. Yeah. It is like injuries, like your body your body's capable of a lot and it will if you do everything correctly, it will heal. Mm. But if you don't do anything mentally, then what's the fucking point? Yeah. Because uh, you know, if you said, like, if he hasn't healed mentally, well, what's he going to do? Not low kick, not check kicks. And he's taken away a, a weapon out of his game. And, like a huge you know, part of yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's, um, yeah, you've got to deal with them all mentally as well. I imagine, I mean, like you say, the body w with recovery, yeah. the body will do that for you. You don't yeah. have to think about, you know, yeah. you know yeah. leg heal, leg yeah. heal. You're not thinking about that. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. So really, you just, you just yeah. sit down and wait. Yeah. Basically, yeah. but this bit yeah. is oh, all yeah. on you. It is definitely. This is all on you. Yes. I'm going back and talking. Yeah. You know, it's all very well. You get healed. Okay, you're walking yeah. on it. Yeah, you're in the gym. You're with your pals. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you're kicking the soft thing, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, that's one thing. Yeah. But when it's go time, again, <laughs> the lights are on. The ref says, right, go. Let's go. Can you, that thing in your head yeah. thinking it's going to take some, take some nuts, that. Yeah. Some real yeah. mental stuff. I guess that's a difference yeah. between... Maybe it calcifies even, like, harder, though, you know? Bone on, like, when it heals. Is that so a maybe, thing? maybe you have, like, extra solid bone. I mean, that's what you want to try and tell yourself, <laughs> isn't it? That's what you want to go yeah. with, yeah. Can you get, like, if you break your leg, can you get, like, a metal, uh, like, bone? What? Can't you do that? I, uh, I don't know. You can get stuff to supply. Like, I think you can get it screwed. fused. You can get it like, screwed and fused, but if you fuse it, then that, that you know limits you. Yeah. You know, in this day and age, mm. like I've just had the thought, right? Mm. And how would anybody know? So mm. let's just say you're a UFC fighter, right? Mm. Or a mixed martial artist. Yeah. I bet you could go to some dodgy backstreet um, country, uh -huh. you know, some backward place like Ecuador or somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure people in Ecuador are lovely, but mm -hmm. I bet you could get your bone taken out and a metal bar put in instead you know like this but the bit you, you kick with yeah like could it do I the same you, you do the same thing yeah because it's just the a stick <laughs> yeah. yeah can you like how would anybody know? know does that work in my head it does yeah <laughs> i hope so yeah you know yeah. Like, yeah yeah maybe i'm thinking of a computer game but no yeah if, i think eventually well you can get like bionic arms and stuff in that now can't you so how do you Eventually. feel about the thing? The um, what's it called? That thing where everyone's going to take drugs, the Olympics. Oh, the enhanced games. Yeah. Have you heard oh, about this? that? No, no. What's this? So Peter Thiel's running the enhanced games, which is a rival to the Olympics, and it allow people to basically take enhanced drugs yeah. and. Obviously. I think that's a brilliant idea. So yeah. you just get juice yeah. to the gills, but everybody can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine. Like, oh, I think that's brilliant. Yeah. Like, off you go, you lot. Like, <laughs> Have you your own go league. and experiment and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And then it keeps them out of the regular ones. How do you feel about something like that happening in like in in mixed martial artists? Again, stay in that category. You go and experiment. Because um, wasn't there a time where like juicing was oh, loads kind of, of allowed? It. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. allowed as such, Not but they weren't loud. testing. Oh, were they? yeah, loads of people were doing it. Yeah, I hear people talk about it. Like, was funny. it Alexander Overeem and people like that? They yeah. were juiced to the gills. Yeah, this sort of thing. And then you look at like. When USADA came in, That's and then it, they USADA. started fighting again, and the physique was completely different. <laughs> like... Looked like a bag of milk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just literally, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. they've been melted by wax. Yeah, you know what I mean. But then it just goes to show how much an effect it fucking has. Like, oh yeah. And it's like you can't, you can't do it. No, like against someone who isn't. Do you think it's? Again, I don't know, but do you mm. think uh, it should be all allowed or do you think it should be banned and why? Because um, for me, no. in my opinion, I'll give my opinion. Yeah. I think everyone should just be able to do it. I think they shouldn't be, you know, that's the thing. You, you, if you want to take it, take it. And if you want to go up against somebody, you take it as well. If you want to, mm. you know, that's my opinion. Yeah. No, I, no, I don't agree with that. No? Uh, no. Um, because kind of fighting, right? It's yeah. like, who is the best superhuman? That's kind of Whoa. what mixed martial artist is, right? Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. And over time, mm. things have got 
betterer, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Training's got betterer. Yeah. Recovery's got betterer. Technique, yeah. I guess that's kind of maybe been the same. I don't yeah. know. But things have improved and got betterer. Yeah. So why can't that side of it get betterer mm -hmm. where people are taking... I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm looking at it from a, like a... A clean athlete a, point a of view. A martial artist like perspective of like uh, honour and integrity and like uh, the best fighter wins by doing what they can physically and mentally, emotionally do themselves, mm. not by, oh, give me a bit of that just to make me a bit stronger. Mm. Give me a bit of that so I can be a bit quicker. I don't have to, I'll miss them sprints because I've got that. Mm. Little cheat code, you know what I mean? How prevalent do you think it is in in general combat sport? Mm. I've heard, I don't right? Know. Yeah. In, it was about boxing, not about um, yeah, not about MMA. Yeah, but I heard somebody who knows what they're talking about. Yeah, uh, like a a big figure. I think it was like I think it was I think it was Johnny Nelson. Maybe it was. I can't remember. Okay. But they said, "Oh, two thirds of the boxers that you know really? are juiced." You ju they're just good at hiding it. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah. I mean, do 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 you believe it's that prevalent? Mm, uh, could be, I guess. Well, then when you look at, I don't know, the UFC. Um, the, when that USADA came out, there was obviously a lot of fighters that got caught out. Mm. Um, and I guess it comes back to what matters more to you. Being uh, the best by yourself and what you can do, or fucking winning, at, regardless of all costs. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. I yeah, know. I guess that's where it gets to. You know, mm. when you've wanted something, for the most part, mixed martial artists who, who mm. make it to the top of the UFC, mm. they haven't just got in it the day before. No, this is probably going no. way back from when they yeah, were very yeah. young. Yeah, and they've got their entire way. Yeah. And it's all the way to the pinnacle. And yeah. it's like, this is my chance. Yeah. And you can sort of see how how they can start taking stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you must win at all cost. Yeah. And, yeah, you yeah. know, for the moment, you could even get it in your head, well, what's to say? This The guy I'm fighting isn't doing this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, or the lady yeah. I'm fighting isn't doing yeah. this. Yeah. Difficult, isn't it? Mm. It is. Difficult. Yeah. But yeah, listen, I think everyone should just get juiced up to the max and <laughs> smash each other. It's just a great TV, you yeah. know? A great TV. Sure there'll be heart attacks left, right, and centre, but still, <laughs> you know, floppy legs every fight, <laughs> you know? Um, no, like, so you being a female fighter, mm. is, it, is it harder or more difficult to get to the top of the game as a female fighter or a male fighter, in your opinion? Um, and why? Yeah. It's harder in one sense of there is, well, for the same reason, there's, it's harder, there's less opponents. So, um, you know, if, if someone pulls out of the fight, for me, it's harder to get a replacement. There's less, uh, there was less weight categories. So the UFC only did flyweight and bantamweight, maybe, for a while. So a lot of people at my weight were having to go up, um, yeah, I think that was it. Oh, yeah. Well, they didn't have 115 anyway, ages ago. Because right. um, that's when Rosie Sexton, she's the first yeah. UK female to ever get in the UFC. And she had to bulk up massively to get to flyweight. Bear in mind, she's on like five foot four, if, if that. Yes, tiny. Um, but on the flip side, there's less people, there's less opponents to go through. So you are probably going to make it to the top with less fights. So mm. it, it's kind of... Uh, six and two threes. Um, when you were like coming through mm. in these gyms, mm -hmm. was it? I'm I'm imagining it was just pretty male heavy, was it? There won't have been too many females. No, doing it. yeah, yeah. Um, when I when I transitioned to MMA, all of my sparring partners were dudes. Mm. Um, but I would try and seek out females um, that I could go and train with. So like Rosie, I tried to. Um, go, like I did, I went to train with her a little bit. Uh, Vanessa English, she was like, at the time, a brown belt in jiu-jitsu at my weight. Um, so I'd go and train with her. Yes, Rosie. Hey. Um, and, you know, I would, I would seek out these uh, females to to go and train with. Um, 
How far did this Rosie get? She, I think she had two fights in the UFC, but unfortunately I think she lost both and they cut her. Right, I get it. For her, it's just a, um, obviously she's, I remember watching her on GMTV. No way. Like she was sat in like a sports brand, some shorts, getting interviewed, talking about what MMA was. Right. And I was like, how fucking cool. She a bit older than you? Yes. I would, yeah, I would think she's older than me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she must be. Yeah. Um, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, 41. Oh, yes, yeah, she's older than me. Huh. Yeah. yeah. So like, okay, no, it's this question, right? I was, mm. I, I didn't know. Tell me, you know when you lose? Yeah. Losing. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. How do you come back from that? Like, I know you, you've said it before. You, we, we did talk about it. But, mm. like, when you've had your ass handed to you, mm. right? Mm. And you have to, and you, like, you you know, Paul, you said, was the guy that, yeah. that helped you. Yeah. But how do you reprogram your mind from, to that, to, like, I'm going to get them this time? Like... Yeah, it's a... Uh, do you go through, like, dark moments? Yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, losing's, like, absolutely heartbreaking. I, I'm i quite an emotional person anyway as well. Well, I can be. Sometimes I'm not. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I'm a bit too cold and callous, but then um, other times I'll fucking... If someone cries, I'll cry. Right. Um, but... Yeah, I would even cry at fucking losing a jiu-jitsu match, match honestly. Um, so, yes, see me in the change room after I've lost a fight, I'll be fucking sobbing my heart out. Um, but I don't dwell on it because I'm like, the longer you dwell on something, you're not actually doing anything about it. So um, as soon as I can, I watch the fight back mm. and I'm like, that's where I fucked up, should have done this should have done that and then that's what I work on uh after that and then you just fucking that's all you can do mm. you know what I mean you can't just mope about because you lost a fight it's fucking just watching it back that's what it is someone has to lose yeah somebody has yeah. to lose when you've watched it back mm. and you've you, you say you've pinpointed things ah mm. that's where I went wrong should have mm. did that mm. does that like spur you on and think oh right yeah like i would have won but like obviously I, I did that 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 so don't worry about it you know we won't do that next time does um, it give you an excuse does it give you a reason you know because uh, professional fighters they've always got a reason why they lost mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. always the training camp didn't go well uh this 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 you hear all yeah. you know the same yeah, old yeah. stuff i had an injury yeah. blah, 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 blah. i've never heard to my knowledge, yeah. a fighter lose yeah. and just be like, listen, he's better than me. Yeah, yeah. I've never heard that. There's yeah. always a reason. Yeah. Do you, does a fighter need a reason as to why they lost? Um, For me, no one cares. So, like, if you are injured in the run-up to a fight, if you have a shitty fight camp, um, all this stuff going on, you either go through the fight and deal with um, deal with it or you pull out because then you don't, uh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, um, uh, now I'm not a fan of like, if you lose your fight and it's like, oh, but like I didn't have the right sparring partners or I was dealing with this injury, like, well then you shouldn't have fought. It's all good after the fact, yeah, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you wouldn't have been saying any of this if, if you'd have fucking won. Oh, yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, so. Camp would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I knew I was winning this yeah. fight. Look, no. I've heard fighters say every fight is injured. Like, yeah. you're both coming yeah. in with niggles. Yeah, yeah. You both didn't have a perfect camp. Like, yeah. that's the fact of yeah. the matter. It doesn't happen. Your head's boxed in. Yeah, You know, yeah. your cat's been ran over. Yeah. Like, everyone's got a life. Everyone's got shit going on. Yeah. yeah. So there's no yeah, such yeah. thing as perfect. No, no. But um, I once heard somebody say that to be a good fighter, mm. you've got to be delusional. In what sense? In that you've got to, you've got to have such a level of belief mm -hmm. and i guess it's i guess if you've proved it you're not actually delusional mm -hmm. because you've done it yeah yeah but not everybody is mike tyson and heavyweight champion at 21 yeah um a lot of fighters as you say do lose but it's the delusion uh -huh. that spurs them back on because yes. they'll have the reason but i once heard somebody say mm -hmm. and he was a boxing man yeah he was he was a boxer yeah. and he said the people who get to the top yeah are the most deluded 
people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd see what you're, uh, where you're coming from, and I do agree with that. I think... Um, do you have to have a level of it? Yeah, I think so. You have to believe you are the best in the fucking world, like, on any given day. Like, you have to have that belief to get to the top. Um, and it's... and it and But sometimes you're not. No. But, you know, but so you, so you do need that delusional, like, no, no, I'm the fucking best. Like... Yeah, yeah. And... Uh, and it's that belief and that confidence. Like, look at Connor, like, for so long. Um, that was his persona and uh, his belief and fucking chinned loads of people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Until he didn't, but, yeah. Do you know what? Actually, I, t- I take it back mm. because Connor, mm-hmm. when he lost... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I take it back. Yeah. He's the only man I've ever seen do it right. Yeah. He yeah, literally, yeah. No, no excuses... Yeah, and he would just the say, better. "Oh yeah, I respect you know yeah, the guy yeah. did awesome. He handed me my ass. Yeah, 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 classic yeah. guy. Yeah, bit outlandish, bit much, <laughs> yeah. but uh, there is a good yeah. a good case of of delusion because yeah. he just mm. that walk like the Conor McGregor walk. <laughs> oh yeah, like he literally people have like you know people have used that walk now. Yes. He invented yeah, it, yeah. right? Yeah, the Conor walk. Yeah, he was." He was the he, he was the, the the thing that took UFC to the next level. Like it was already big, but when Connor mm. came, it just yeah, yeah. Him just, and Ronda, oh, Ronda Rousey, yes. yeah, yeah, course. yeah. They kind of came along at a similar time, didn't they? And it just went yeah. yeah. Ronda was a beast. Oh, loved Ronda. Yeah, man. Yeah. She was my favorite. She's nice, the woman as well. I've heard her in interviews. I like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's yeah. the other one who who handed her ass? Holly Holly Holmes. Holly Holmes. That yeah. was it. Yeah. Did they fight twice? No. Just once? Yeah. Yeah. Holly was absolutely. it a lucky kick? You know, but then it no, wasn't, you know. No. Think she'd have won? Was she winning the fight up till then? No, no. No. Holly, um, like I like both. Uh, I loved Ronda. Like, absolutely loved her through her entire career. Um, and Holly, uh, she fucking game planned. That was, that's what she did. And, and she was known for head kicks as well. That's how she was stopping everyone before she got to the UFC. Was it? Yeah. Um, and she anti judoed anti clinch uh, game plan, and then wallop. Because that's what Ronda was, right? She was like judo. She was like a grappler, wasn't she? Yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good judo. When she got you on the floor, you game over. Yeah. But Holly was a speciality well, in kicks. Professional, was she pro- professional boxer originally? I think. Yeah. Was she? Yeah, boxing. I think kickboxing. I believe in then MMA. Mm. Yeah. Do you think, I mean, I'm obviously, Ronda Rousey must have inspired you a little bit. Yes. Because she'll be a bit older than you, right? Yes. So when you were coming through. I think you... so. Um, How old were you when you first heard about Ronda Rousey? Ronda. Well, I'd already, I'd started my MMA career. So um, just because I remember um, I did my first trip to America by myself. And I was like, I want to go train at her gym. Like an absolute fucking stalker right. i was like um so i got in touch with the gym right and i was like hi um i'm a mma fighter from uh england or aspiring mma fighter i can't remember if i'd had a fight or not um and i was wondering if i could come and train at your gym no one got back to me so um anyways i flew over there anyway uh and stayed in hollywood and i got the bus over to I can't remember where it is. And Glendale went over there and like found the gym. And I'm like, it was shut. So I'm like knocking on the door. <laughs> no way. Yeah. And then um, this guy came over and he was like, uh, he's like, hi, like, can I help you? I was like, yeah, can I come and train? <laughs> no way. Yeah. You just and got then, on a plane, just went out. Fucked just, off, yeah. Just knocked, knocked on, the door. on the door. And I was no like, way. And, um, they were like, oh, you'll have to come back tonight when the class is out. I was like, all right, cool. Um, so I went back, trained in the classes. There was no Ronda. I was like, oh, fucking hell, where's she at? And then, Did she not know I was coming? <laughs> and then eventually, I've uh, been there a few days and um, got to know the coach a little bit. And he was like, oh, listen, we do our daytime training sessions if you want to come. I was like, yes. I mean, so I went and uh, there she fucking walked in. I was like, oh, fuck. Um, yeah, so she wasn't training with us. She was doing pads with Ed, Edmund, whatever he's called, is... Mm. Uh, a coach and he took me on the pads i was like fucking hell you must have um, shone a little bit did you oh maybe yeah you must have um, stood out a bit i think it's just the balls of going in there and be like hey <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, i bet somebody told 
Rhonda. Somebody said this in this girl. Maybe. Just turned up this yeah, English girl. Um, and then eventually, eventually I thought, don't be an absolute weirdo. I didn't really, I said hi and stuff, but, um, and I had my book with me, my Rhonda Rousey book. So Aww, I know I asked her to sign sweet. it for me and she did and she was dead sweet. Oh, I, I love that. That's the only interaction you had with her though. That is the only one, yeah. But you saw her? I did. And you saw her training? Yes. She owns this gym, right? Or is um, it where she just no, trains just where at? She, it was just where she trained. She was, at the time, she was getting ready to fight that Betra Cohera. Yeah, I That was this. it, yeah. Yeah. Where, um, where have you? I mean, another thing I've heard, mm? you, you've been in the... Is it called Wildcard, Freddie Roach? Yes, gym? that was the same time. So Same trip? Yeah, so... Uh, I didn't know you could just turn up to these gyms. I didn't think it worked like that. <laughs> I thought it was like invite only sort of thing. No, no, no. Um, well, I think it's invite only to like fight the training sessions and things. But um, Wildcard, Wildcard's just a fucking free for all. That was great, that. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, I went down there and sparred with her. Um is Freddie in there every day? Freddie, I saw him a couple of times. I spoke to him. He like, was lovely. That ring there, it's um, so famous. Like watching yeah. Manny train in that. Like, yes. Oh, my God, it gave me Honestly, goosebumps when I see it. That was like, uh, and obviously I shit myself walking there. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm about to go in a gym full of, like, boxers. But they're absolutely sound. Um, and then one of the dudes started taking me on the pads. Um <laughs> And then he was like, oh, do you want to do some sparring? I was like, yeah, sound, okay. Um, and then they put me in with this lass, right? She must have been about four weight classes. She's a big girl, right? right? And I was like, all right, I'll be fine. Um, and we're f- fucking sparring and she fucking stopped us in like the third round. <laughs> And I was like, oh, my God. Um, Fuck's sake. Like, I, did, I did my best, honestly. I tried my hardest to fucking to box with this lass. And she just fucking body shot this shit out of us. Um, Fuck's sake. And I was like, oh, my God. And then it turns out she was, like, ranked number five in the fucking amateurs or something, like, uh, and she was a, boxer. a while ago. Yeah, yeah. So Fully-fledged boxer. Yeah. And you were playing boxing. I was... Um, I was Thai boxing at this time, and I was like, right, I'll go see what my boxing skills are like. And but when you had this, this, this oh, sorry, it was just you boxing. Were boxing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So bigger than you. Yeah. yeah. So and that was that was an experience. Yeah, but it was. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, mate. Um, Loved it. Lange, it takes a bit of like lady balls to like just mooch all over the world. Mooch about, yeah, just fun train. Yeah. yeah, man. A different breed type stuff, that. <laughs> yeah, most like, people go for holiday. <laughs> I know, yeah. Like, I know, yeah. People of your age, oh, like, they'll go on to, like, yeah. I don't know, you know, Spain and whatever, I and laying know. on the beach, and they're sh- off on their own. Yeah. To America, catching yeah. buses, walking in wildcard gyms. Yes. Yeah. Knocking yeah. on Ronda Rousey's door. I know. Hello. Yeah, Ronda. man. <laughs> you were obsessed. Yeah. You must have been obsessed was, with yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, you yeah. can tell. And like yeah. the thing you said there about the discipline and just loving it and like yeah 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 no oh, I did you know you you might have in a different life in a mm. parallel universe mm. you might have been awesome in the military you know <laughs> do you know what I mean Trig. yeah but I often think there's a lot yeah. like in comparison with it yeah do you know what I mean yeah I might cry though when they shout at me yes yeah but don't cut your shout uh yeah I used to cry <laughs> yeah right okay Paul made me cry lots yeah yeah. Because like training, I've never trained hard or anything, but mm. I imagine when you're getting really put through your paces. Yeah. Fuck it, yeah. come on, come on. You, you yeah. literally what wanna... the fuck was that? That was shit. Mm. Fucking do it again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. Here's mm. some. Um, mm. What does the word accountability mean to you? <gasps> Love this. Teach this to all my kids. Mm. Every single week this comes up. Tell me about accountability accountability i'm like right kids what's the word of the gray grid and they're like oh, yeah. accountability what does accountability mean and they're like taking responsibility for your own actions and i'm like yeah pretty much um i just think being accountable is doing what you say you'll do um knowing if you fuck up it's fine fucking own it um we all fail we all make mistakes fucking own it um yeah pretty much yeah mm. and i think um accountability and the lack there of it i think uh 
I think we could all take a page, not just your, you know, mm. your young students. I think that's yeah. something everybody should really take. Definitely. If you, if something bad happens in your life, mm. it's probably your fault. Yes. You yeah. Know? And like going back to that whole fight camp thing, like, uh, if you lose a fight, you lost the fight. You lost the fight. Like when I lose, I know I've fucking lost. Like, it's not, it's not my coach's fault. It's not my training partners. Like I'm the one that gets in there mm. and does it. And if I don't do it properly, that's on me. Yeah, and you got to own it. Yeah. And I suppose same thing on the way back. you got to be accountable for, you know, the climb back up again. You're accountable yeah. for your own yeah. self to pull your, you know, your head out your ass and yeah. get back at it. Yeah, yeah. Accountability. Yeah. No, I like yeah, I, I, did, I read something on your, um, on one of your posts, accountability, oh, okay. and uh, like yeah. I read through it. Yeah. It's another one of them things I'm thinking, mm. no. This is, this is, she's good. <laughs> yeah. It's good stuff. You did some good stalking. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'd make a good cycle girlfriend, yeah. wouldn't I? Um, <laughs> when times mm. do get tough in training, mm-hmm. let's pretend that it gets really, 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 really bad. I'm sure it does. Mm. What spurs you on? What motivates you? What is the thing that makes you fucking like... Because um... you said about the... Aiming for the top of the tree. Yeah. That would be, f- yeah. from an idiot's perspective, that would be my thing. Oh, I need to be the best. That yeah, would, yeah. Well, yeah. But you, were you never aiming for that, were you? Originally, no. Um, it was just, uh, you know, I just took each fight as it comes and, and we'll go from there. But, um, but I do have an extremely competitive side. I didn't really realise this until a while ago. But um, when I started jiu-jitsu, right, um, obviously I'd gone from doing Thai boxing for a, a, a long time and I got to a good level. And then I started doing jujitsu because Will uh, taught jujitsu and you're a white belt and you're shit and you're getting absolutely <laughs> like mullered every fucking class. And I fucking hated it. Like there was nothing enjoyable about it, getting squashed, like submitted, like strangled. Like strangled. I was like, what the fuck is fun about this, right? But I was <laughs> <laughs> But I was so stubborn and like I was like, I didn't like not being good at something. So I was like, right. that's the only reason I persevered with it. I was like, I will be fucking good at jujitsu. Right. Like, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So You're not that's having kind this. Of, yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> so that kind of I kind of have ha- have had that. Like uh I do want to do well. Like whenever I fight, like I want to be the best that I can fucking be. Um, and so I think that that drives us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Tell us about the UFC show. I'm going to jump oh, on yeah. that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That interests me. Yeah. How on earth did mm. you end up on the telly with Dana White? How was that gone? That was a funny one. Um, so... I'd had... You didn't just turn up, did you, again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just knocked on Taylor's so door. Oh, you did? Oh, <laughs> no, oh God's no. sake. No, oh, no. So, for... <laughs> <Ta-da>. to... Hi. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> no, I am... Um, I'd had one MMA fight when the trials came out for this, and I wasn't meant to do MMA. I was quite happy doing Thai boxing. I was doing well in Thai boxing, but then uh, this fight came up in the Northeast. It was this woman called Michelle Nicolini. She was like a seven-time world jiu-jitsu black belt champ. Um, and everyone was like, oh, who wants to fight her? And I was like, fuck it, I'll fight her. Um, so then I, I ended up, <laughs> ended up uh, getting ready to fight this girl. And lo and behold, she submits me in the first round. Awesome. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, God loves a trier, you know. Yeah. But I was like, but, but the delusions oh, kicked yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, no, I could beat this girl. Um, yeah, she's yeah. she's for here. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, honestly, Pro- program. Just oh. you watch this. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I, like, I actually thought I was going to win that fight. You know? Of course she did. So like, Deluded. Of course, yeah. <laughs> of course she did. You're a fighter. So I was like, sound. Um, obviously lost <laughs> the <fight>. sound. <laughs> <laughs> How quick was it? First round. First round. <laughs> no, no. How long was yeah. the round? It was meant to be five minutes, so she subbed it in about three. Right. <laughs> oh, so yeah, so that two point five minutes of the three, you've been yeah. strangled. Basically. I was being strangled. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, and then she armbarred us eventually. So fuck's sake. Anyways, um, I'd had that fight. And... Next time. Next time. Next yeah, time. Yeah, I'm I'll coming get for you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I had that fight and I was like, oh, do you know, I absolutely loved getting ready for it. So that's how I ended up going to MMA. But then I was like, oh, I should probably learn some more jiu-jitsu. So I went and did a load of grappling tournaments. But in that time, the trials came up for the Ultimate Fighter at 115. I was like, oh, that's my category. I could do this. Um, and it says, in order to come an audition, you need a winning record and three fights. So I was like, right, I'll just uh, fudge this a little bit. So I, I, I wrote down a couple of my mates as like opponents and how I'd beat them and uh, on the application form. No and way. And sent it off, yeah. You blagged it? I blagged it, yeah. Not that like, obviously, they're not fucking daft. So obviously everything's on the internet, isn't it? So they probably discovered that those fights didn't exist. Um, <laughs> right. But anyways... Uh, I was in Thailand at the time visiting my parents. That's where they live. So the trials were in Vegas. So I was like, Dad, please can I borrow a thousand pound and I'll pay you back? No way. I was like, I really want to fly to Vegas and do these trials. Right. right. Um, I'll set up a repayment plan. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. Um, bless him. So he lent me the money, flew over to Vegas um, and you do your trials. And so you have to hit pads in front of everyone in the panel and then you have to grapple with someone and then you do some interviews. And um, I made it through that stage. So you then stay there for a week in Vegas and um, you do like MRI scans and things and some more interviews and then you fly back to wherever you, you were. So, uh, But you don't know if you've been picked or not. Um, and then... It was around Christmas time. So I was training. I was like, I'm fucking getting picked. I'm like, you know, that delusional thing. Delusion so thing, yeah. I'm like fucking going out doing sprints on Christmas day. Like, fuck Turkey. Like, I'm like, I'm like yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, uh, oh and then I did. I got I got picked to go and have you fight to get into the house. Um, so but you have to fight to get in. You have to win your fight to get in. Okay. So you do your trials. Um, and if you get picked from the trials, then... You go, they fly you back over to Vegas and you get paired off to fight someone. Um, and then I won that fight and got in the house. How did you win that fight? Um, well, I got done in for the first round. Um, the lassie took us down. Like, she didn't do any damage, but she just pinned us and I couldn't um, couldn't get back to my feet. And I actually went in that fight thinking, oh, I'll just see how this goes, you know. Like, I'm not overly experienced, so if it's standing, I'll stand. If it goes to the floor, we'll go to the floor. After that first round, I was like, I cannot go to the fucking floor with this no, girl. No, this isn't working. I was like, fuck. So um, went out for the second round um, and just pure stubbornness, like, refused to get taken down. I didn't have an awful lot of technique. Um, and then as soon as I managed to... Uh, get a moment where I could implement my game. Um, that was it. Just fucking need a elbow to punch turn and got the stoppage. So I won. Yes. Yeah. So it was good. In front of the so who's watching this fight? Dana was watching it. He oh, was going God. mental. Oh, it was so cool. Um, yes. He was on his feet, like cheering. Um, Will had come with me, uh, and then there's just like whoever you want to bring to watch. Um, so it was a smallish crowd, but yeah. But yeah, he's Good. Dana's obviously thought I like this girl because mm. he's, he's just yes. watched you look like you were out. I know. Basically, in the yeah, first yeah. round, you were getting yeah. tortured, and yeah. then you come out like fucking Rambo. Ba 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 ba. Fucking yeah, I had to do Pieced her up. Yeah. So, Respect. That was good. So yeah. you've won this fight. You're in yep. this house. Yep. So when do are the cameras there now? Like oh yeah, all the time. All so, the time. So even in you warm in this fight, you've talked about cameras are there. Well, of yeah, course yeah. Dana's there. Well, yes. Of course it's yeah, yeah. Party, so yeah. everything's getting filmed, and then literally you say your buys, and then they send you off to this house. Where's the house? In it was in Vegas, big fucking mansion. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, it was beautiful. Dana owns it. One of them. Of course, of course yeah, he does. Just, yeah, um, and that's it. There was eight girls, eight boys, all lived in the same house. Um, Fucking mint. You're How long were you there for? Six weeks. Six weeks. No How many episodes were made? Uh, there was a fight every week. So. And who were you fighting? You. F People in the house. Yeah. So you fight. Uh, you get paired off. Uh, sorry. The team. The pick teams. I was on Claudia's. To the blue team, and then the restaurant. Uh, Ioana's team, 
Um, and then all of our females on my team won. So then we had to fight each other. Mm. Um, so I won. Well, my fight to get in, I wouldn't. My first fight in the house, and then I lost to one of the girls on my team. So, yeah, yeah, it was good. Good experience. Who, is, who's the girl with the birthmark on her cheek? What's that girl called? Where? Which one? Do you know, she's quite a pretty girl. Dark hair. She, I see her come up in the show all the time. Um, move around a bit. You just had pictures of her on. The coach? Is she the coach? I don't know. Oh, there yeah. she is. There. She's, she's that picture, yeah. Yes, her. That's Claudia Gadella. Right, because I recognise this yeah, girl. Yeah. Why do I know this girl? Because she's like... A UFC fighter. UFC fighter. Right. Yeah, she's retired now. But... So she wasn't... Right, because I was yeah. watching this... When I was watching some clips of the show, I thought yeah. she was one of the girls in the house. No, ah. no, she was one of the coaches. Ah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She looks nice. Oh, she was lovely. Smart girl. Oh, she's brilliant, yeah. So, and whose coach was she, yours? Yes. Right. Yes. That's the one you want, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm sure the other one was good, but... Oh, she was lovely to us. Joanna, the girl... They obviously fought. They fought twice, actually. So that's Claudia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then Joanna was apparently just fucking beating up her team. She was beating them up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you train like pussies? Like, that's right. Not, yeah. Like, right, poor, right, right, right. Uh, so this program, so you, you're there, mm. that you've you've done this this thing. What happens? So you've you've won you've won, you've won to get in, won that. Yeah, 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 you won your first one. You lost your second one. Yeah, then what, yeah. did they boot you out? Is that what happens? No, so you stay in the house until the whole show's finished. Okay. So if you lose your fight at the very beginning, it's a bit of a sickener because yeah. you're there for another six weeks, but you're not winning the show. Right. Um, so. Who won your show? Tatiana Suarez. What happened to her? She's in the UFC. Is she, she will be. Um, Tatiana, is that, is, was that the, sorry to interrupt, is that the prize for winning this game? You get into the UFC. Yes. That's yeah, the prize. Yeah, you get a contract. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So how did Tatiana do? She did very well. And she's doing very well still. She's unbeaten. She's unbeaten? Mm. How long has she been fighting? I don't know. Seriously? Don't know. Because it's quite unusual to have a very long unbeaten run in, in mixed martial she's, arts, isn't it? She's um, Tatiana Suarez. There she is. Huh. Did you ever fight with her? No. no. You ever she, spar, grapple? She was on my team. Um, I got paired off to fight the other American girl, Amanda Cooper. Mm. But Tatiana, she's she's doing really well. Is she? Yeah. Huh. How does that all work with, like, obviously, da does Dana obviously pay for everything? Food and oh, accommodation? Yeah. Honestly, every night there's a there's a piece of paper with your name on it and you write down whatever you want to order, like really? food shopping-wise. People are ordering, like, uh, not just food, but, like, um, expensive, like, hair products and, uh, <laughs> like, are. makeup and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, of course. And once people weren't fighting anymore, they're ordering, like, bottles of tequila, steak, yeah. lobster, like, all wow. sorts. They foot everything. Um, it's all on dinner. Yeah, they fucking paid for everything. So just the me. best six weeks out there, Best I six weeks ever. Yeah. Like, train, eat, sleep, like, they yeah. sorted out Will as well when he was out there with you, or no? He they he goes on. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you can't speak to anyone. You get your phone took off you. So um, is it reality TV? Is that yes. kind of what that's called? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a reality TV. Yes. So what was the thing at the end where, or not at the end, but I seen something where Dana <clears throat> ends up getting shot in a pool. What's that? Oh, it's like the, and the coaches, coaches the other challenge. One. Yeah. So halfway through the season, they do this challenge where your team can win some money. Right. Um. Yeah, and they had to like hit this target from like a height um no, it gets dropped in like a yeah it gets a dropped into like cold water yeah so what um, was it uh so i guess at the end it's either the coach or dana's getting dropped one of the two so it was the two coaches uh if whichever person lost they got dunked and then you go back up and you go again they had to like hit the target um that was it. Yeah, and yeah. then i think they just dunked him for the crack actually <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh. yeah because when he when he got dunked he, he genuine to me he genuinely looked like he didn't know he was oh. getting dunked like he knew but he was terrified right it was up a massive height as well do you yeah. know on these reality tv shows mm. is things scripted um no they're not uh they're not but i think um Ioana maybe he's tried to uh what do you call it? Um, like manipulate things in a certain yeah, way. Yeah, to get things... Exaggerate. Yeah, to kind of cause a little bit of beef between her and Claudia. Yeah. Um, but, nah, it's... No, nah, you get it. No. Yeah. I have, you know, I mean, we're talking about just one reality TV mm. show, but 
some might be, some might not oh, be. Oh, some you know? might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is what it is. Yeah. Um, but no, that's um, mm. that's a big in that. That's big. That was cool. Yeah, I loved that's it. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Bit yeah, of claim to that. fame. That was well cool. You fought in front of Dana. Yes. You've been around proper UFC people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, hard work pays yeah. off, right? Yes. So Bellator, is that before or after this? After. That was only a year or two ago. Right. Yeah, two years ago. Bellator is yeah. kind of like the competition for mm. UFC, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the next biggest one, Bellator? I would say so. I think a lot of people want to go to Bellator because I think they um, pay quite well. Do they? Yeah. What, in UFC don't? I think they do, but... Um... Obviously, I don't. I don't have a reference point because I didn't get paid. To f- I got paid for being on the show, but um, obviously, I haven't fought in the UFC, so I've not been paid to fight on that. Mm. Um, and uh, I mean, I have heard people say it's all relative, isn't it, to what sport mm. you're comparing it to? Mm. Like, listen, we work in a web design company. <laughs> I'm sure your UFC are getting more money than we are. Yes, but then when yeah. you take the UFC fighters, yeah. Who, uh, you know, probably have a harder gig than, let's say, a heavyweight mm. boxer. Mm. And you look at their purses. Yeah. And oh, then you can get lot. into the thing of, like, the promotional yeah. and the, because Dana's got it all boxed off yes. and it's all his control. Yeah, like, it's yeah. all, ooh, like, yeah. yeah. It is what it is. That's, it is. That's right. that's the game you're in. Do you yeah. want it or not? Yeah, Do you know what yeah I mean? exactly. Yeah, yeah you're still, you're still going to be a millionaire if you win. Yeah, yeah, Do you know what exactly, I mean? So yeah. you're just yeah. not going to have 200 million because <laughs> yeah. Dana's having that. Yes. <laughs> You'll be given your crumbs <laughs> and Dana's got houses yeah. to buy. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, respect to Dana White. Like, um, mm. he's he's done it. He's done it himself. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's just built an absolute empire. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you think that way, um, just in your opinion, mm. if you have one, mm. Do you think that, that the UFC model, where it mm. is completely um, isolated, like it's mm. completely just just them and, mm. you know, like UFC ain't fighting Bellators, like the box off together, right? Yeah. Do you think that way is right? Or the boxing way, where you've got different promoters and da 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 mm. What do you mean? As in, like so, if you fight for the UFC, you don't go fight for someone else and stuff? Yeah. So yeah. basically what we've just said, that, that yeah. Dana White kind of has this, yeah hold over everything it's his company yeah everyone works for him yeah. he decides the purses he decides who's fighting who like it's all completely controlled by him mm. and fighters in the ufc don't have that much say in what goes on whereas a boxer they're a bit more divery get paid a lot more money right because okay. there's other promoters to yes. go off and like you can jump from promoter to promoter like if someone's yeah. in the ufc and they're not happy what are they going to do well, like, like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Like, walk away? Like, um, this is the best gig, mate. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's it. It's like, um, obviously, you've got UFC, which is obviously up there, and then probably Bellator. And then UFC now, has the exposure that Bellator does. doesn't. Everyone, people think that MMA is UFC. We get some people Same. coming in the gym being like, oh, do you do that UFC here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're like, oh, do you mean MMA? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it does. It does. Um, I mean, I was that guy up until not long ago. Yeah. I thought UFC, yeah, yeah. and I'm just thinking, oh, it's Ultimate That's Fighting it. Champion. That's just yeah, yeah. one promoter. Yes, like, it's just a promotion. So, yeah, it's, um, I don't know, it's like, in one sense, yeah, because it's, uh, it is prestige and everyone wants to fight there. And, um, and it depends, like, like Ronda, Connor, they were fucking getting paid very well. Mm. Um, and it all comes down to, like, at the end of the day, we're entertainers as well. We're not yeah. just fighters. Um, the people that pay our wages are the people that pay for tickets and pay-per-views. And, mm. um, it's true. And, you know, and like if no one comes to watch us fight, like, the, who are we entertaining? Do you know what I mean? So... You forget that, that it's the entertainment industry. You do, industry. and, like, and I was a bit naive to it at the beginning. I was like, well, no, like, I sh- like if I'm good at fighting, that's all that matters. And it's like, it's, it's fucking not, like... It's literally people, not. People, it's not, like... Um, my dad knows who Connor and Ronda are, and, like, he has, still has no clue about what I do. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. like, about MMA or anything. Um, so, yeah, I think I went off on a tangent there. It was a good know, one. I don't know if I answered your question. No, you did. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. did. Um, mm. I get it. Mm. It's, you can break through the UFC because people have. What I mean by breakthrough is to the mm. point where you're dictating what goes on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No one telling Connor have, yeah. who he's fighting and when he's fighting. Yeah. 
he tells the UFC. He does. He yeah. tells Dana. Yeah. And I think that's it. If you want to, mm. if you if you if you were a UFC fighter, or mm. like, gosh, you've already made it if you're in the UFC mm. anyway. But yeah. people who do whinge a bit and say that yeah. it's sort of wrong because it's all control, well, mm. get to the top then. Entertain. Do well, you know this what I mean? is it. Yeah. And Break I'm like, through. Yeah. Yeah. It's and the it's, same for everybody else. It is. You know? Yeah. Find and a way. And you can. Yeah. And you can. You can, yeah. You can transcend UFC. Yeah. Like, I think Francis Ngannou's done it. Yeah. He's, like, yeah, transcended. Yeah. yeah. A, a, in a different way. Connor has, mm. in, in to the point where he's, like, like, Connor's, like, bigger. Like, Connor seems, like, mm. bigger than the UFC now. I mean, I think he's yeah. fell off the wagon a little bit. I think mm. he's a little cokehead, to be fair. <laughs> it looks like But, it. like, yeah. you know, but, um, he's yeah. living a good life, right? He is, yeah. He's driving Lambo yachts. He's well, this is it. Done it. He's done it. Yeah. Done it. Yeah. Got nothing to prove, has he? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay. So, you retired. Yes. Congratulations, by the way. Thanks. Um, how does a fighter adapt to fighting mm. and then not fighting? Because that's different life. It is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you get the itch? Uh. N not really, because I'm. A, I, I feel like I'm at a different chapter in my life now. Okay. Like I said before, um, I was trotting off here, there, everywhere, training, like a different places in the UK. Um, been off to Brazil, Australia. I was in America for six months training. Um, you know, because I didn't have a lot of responsibilities like before. Whereas now, uh, I teach full time. Um, I've got like kids classes, women's classes, teen classes, uh, and, you know, having, going off and training is getting harder and harder to do. Um, whilst doing these other things, whilst doing these other things. Um, and it just became apparent in the last couple of years. That, so, uh, like when I fought a girl, she was the girl in Sweden, um, she's, training at uh, All Stars in Sweden. Um, and, like, she's training with uh, world champion Thai boxers, kickboxers, MMA fighters. Uh, and I was having to... I was, I'd do all my drills at my gym. Um, at the time, I had, like, a couple of young lads that I could, could train with. I was always having to uh, leave and, and travel to get sparring with females because mm. um, it is important... Uh, to fight someone that you're going to, uh, to spar with someone that you, you're going to be fighting, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, a, a course, female course. at 115. So, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's it's gotten a bit harder to kind of leave the gym mm. and go and, and get that training in. Um, and uh, where was I going with that? Um, yeah, but that's that's what I was, I was yeah. saying. Yeah. Um, Oh, the itch to to, yeah, to fight again. To go back and no, fight. um, like I've had a I've had a good fucking run and I've enjoyed it. You have and an like, half, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have an half. Yeah, fuck um, me. Not many people can say what you what you've done. Like, yeah, fuck. And I'm like, like, and all that time I was living in like, uh, not all the time. Um, some of that time I was like living in like house shares and like I was getting the bus everywhere, like because the training came first before everything. Whereas now, um, like I rent my own house, I've got a dog, I've got I've got a shitty car, but only because the police crashed into mine, right? The police. The police crashed. It's a funny. It's a weird story. The police crashed into my car, right? Right. And um, I wasn't driving it. My brother was driving it at the time, but they admitted fault. Um, but because it was an incident with the police, the insurance took ages to go through, like ages. And this whole time, my car was sat at a recovery garage. Um, anyways, by the time the insurance came through to get sorted, um, they got in touch with me. They're like, hi, yeah, we're just wondering, um, what, what's the name of the garage that you, your car's being currently held at? And I was like, oh, it's Dalton Car and Commercial. They're like, yeah, that, that's not open anymore. <laughs> I said, I said, what do you mean? Right. He went, could you just double check? And I said, oh yeah. I said, no, that's definitely it. He said, all right, I'll get back to you. Rang us back. He was like... Yeah, they closed down and crushed all of the cars within the compound. So they crushed my fucking car, right? What? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I was like, well, who said they could crush my car? Uh, 
Um, so how, how long like, had it been since you'd heard about your car? It must have been there. At, like three months. Like three months. Yeah, yeah. And like in that time, months. they closed and crushed everything. They, yeah, they closed and crushed everything. Sound. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? So, um, right. anyways, it, it wasn't like the best of cars, but... Uh, it was your fucking car, though. It was still my car, yeah. Mean? Yeah. It's better than the um, bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, um, so what happens? So surely there's compo. Surely yeah, they, there's something. they paid me what my car was worth when I bought it, so I did. I got that back, but I was like, "Fucking hell, what an absolute chew on!" Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, fuck the police. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, what was the moment that where you said, "Yeah, I'm done"? What? How did that come about? Um, when did you make that decision? Was it a wakey up thing or so the 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 dance walkout that I did? So I I was considering retiring that night right. because um, that I was fighting in the same venue as where I had my first MMA fight. Um, right. It was at Renton Meadows, and I knew everyone was going to be there. Um, like all my friends and family had come to support and. Uh, and I kind of wanted to kind of come full circle and go back to my roots with the the Ramui, which was the tie dance. Yeah. And uh, Will was like, don't do it. He was like, don't do it on the night. He was like, when you're emotional and stuff, he was like, don't make that decision. He was like, just take each like fight and each day as it comes. I was like, okay. So uh, won the fight. It was great. And Jake is interviewing me afterwards. He's like, right, so when are we going to see you next? And for a split second, I was about to say, oh, well, actually, that that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I stopped myself and I was just like, eh, blah, 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 uh, next month. Like, um, and anyways, I got out and I'm glad I didn't because I got a fight offer um, not long after that for a fight in Miami and... Uh, absolutely loved getting ready for it. I was going over to Manchester once a week to spa. Had these two judo girls coming over from Borough to train with me every week. Um, it was great. Fucking best fight camp. Loved it. Um, and then 10 days before the fight, it got cancelled. Oh, no. Yeah. So... Um, and you spent all this time and money and effort yeah. and energy in the fucking camp. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, it fucking happens. It, I've had loads of fights just fucking not happen. Um, but Still, it's like, you'd have been in good nick, I bet. You know. Oh, yeah, I was in, yeah. I was there you go. You're yeah, feeling yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's off of nothing. Um, but you liked uh, it anyway, you said. Yeah, so this is it. See, I yeah, love I love the it. whole prep and like, and if I hadn't have took that fight, I maybe wouldn't have met the judo girls because the girl I was fighting had a a, a judo background. Um, and now they're girls that like I've like made a connection with and like we'll train together again. And, and it's just, for me, like that has been the best part over the 20 years, the fucking people I've met. Um, some of my best mates are in like Australia, uh, different parts of the UK, like all over that I still speak to now, all because we trained for like a period of time at some point in our lives. Mm. Um, so yeah, a bit, bit soft in that sense. Yeah, of course. I mean, mm. all the people that, I mean, you know, we all have friends and things like this, but mm. it's, di I think it's different when you like yourself or a fighter and i guess it would mm. be the same for something else that you specialize in mm. but all these people that you met around the world you trained with you mm -hmm. competed against you sparred with blah 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 yeah you're all kind of this you're all in the same you're all after the same thing you're all yeah. doing the same you all share a yes. common denominator yeah, yeah. like and it's quite a strong yeah. one it is it's not just it like is. oh we all have pink nails no, it's <laughs> yeah. not that do you know what i mean like yeah oh we all like yeah. this color shoe do you yes. know no you're all yeah. fighters and yeah there yeah. is something about that, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I, I can imagine. Yeah. Mm. Can imagine. Yeah. Mm. Um, of all the places you've been mm. in the world, mm. where was your favourite? Favourite. Um, one of my favourite times was in America. I spent three months at uh, Jackson Wink. Um, Where's that? It's in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So that's where Holly Holmes is, John Jones is, mm -hmm. uh, Cerrone was. Um, I met these uh, two other girls. They were strawweights. So one was, she's originally from the UK, but she's um, she lives in Australia. And then the other girl was Italian. Um, and we just became the best of friends. And we literally trained Monday to Saturday, um, 
twice a day, three times a day, um, chilled out Sunday and repeat. Like, and it was just the best thing ever. Like for me, like I went down to London, um, maybe it's last year to GB top team right. just for a week. Right. I went for a week and all I did was get up, have breakfast, train, go home, eat, sleep, go back, train, eat, sleep. And there's something about that life that's just very, um, it's very simplistic and, uh, I really do like it, but. I tell you, you, I think you've been good in the military. I honestly <laughs> do. Like it's literally the. It sounds. Oh. But I mean, when when you don't have other responsibilities, so obviously yeah. when I go and do these stints, I'm not working. Mm -mm. I've not got the dog to look after. Obviously, I don't have kids. Like there's, um, it is just purely selfish. It's for me. I'm training, and that's all I do. Um, I can imagine there's some peace in it. I can is. imagine. Yeah. If you're able to yes. let go. Yeah. Some people probably won't be able to and they'll still be stressing about. Yeah. But if you're able to yeah. shut yourself off and yeah. isolate yourself into yeah. this world, yeah. like you say, training, eating, yeah. sleeping, thinking. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I can mm. imagine it's quite zenny. Yeah. 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 Apart from getting walloped in the well, lips that. <laughs> every day. But apart from that. Um, okay, what's the um, what's your favourite moment in your professional fighting career oh my god what was the pinnacle favorite moment uh probably that tough fight uh the the fight i did to get into the house because it was um it meant a lot didn't it, it did mean a lot and will was there for that and he was an absolute foghorn in the, in crazy. the yeah he couldn't actually corner me uh, right. we, we had to get cornered off like the teams but he's just in the stands and he's like you know what she wants to do now, Lance? <laughs> yep, circle left, circle. Like, he just this. shouted. The, no fucks given. Could like, you hear him when you were oh, fighting? Oh, yeah, I could right, fucking right. hear him, yeah. Um, yeah, he fucking talked me through that first round. He was like, frames, keep your frames in. Yeah, get onto your left side. Like, because obviously my jiu-jitsu was really shit back then. So, um, yeah. yeah. But he's got the bird's eye view as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because sometimes I, best, I get when you're like in the middle of it all and yeah. especially when you're grappling. I yeah. guess if you're stood in front of each other, maybe a bit different. Yeah. But when you're on the floor, you it's all sometimes just Sometimes you just feel like, what the so, fuck's happening? So then voices. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, helpful. Do, right leg here, da 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 yeah, And you think, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, Do you yeah. follow the instruction as well? Yeah, so I've always been quite good at that. Have you? Yeah. Because yeah. I often wonder, like, you see the coaches mm. on the TV and stuff shouting mm. stuff, and I'm thinking, mm. if I was on that floor <laughs> there, right, and this guy's yeah. strangling me, I'd be yeah. saying, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Yeah. Like, I have, don't, do not need yeah. you. I'm in, a, I'm in a nightmare, yeah? Yeah. But you, if you can listen. Yeah. But you listened. Yeah, well, it's it's been kind of programmed in from, from Thai boxing days. Paul's very much like a, a very vocal coach. He's right. like, right, right hand. Right hand low kick. Like he's shouting instructions all the time. So when I went to MMA, Will was like, I need you to be more creative. Like, let's see like what you've got. And I was like, what do you, what do you fucking mean? And I'd crumble a little bit because I was so used to being told what to do. Yeah. Um, and then, so yeah, it took me a while to kind of uh, come out of my shell a bit and be like, all right, I, like I'm in fucking charge here. Yeah. Yeah. Wallop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so like all right you've retired yes what's next what is next um so i'm just gonna continue growing our gym um like i said i've got like uh teens coming through uh like young kids women some of the women want to compete um and yeah just continue with the gym and like you got you kind of mentioned it before about uh Obviously, when I, when people were my age, when I was kind of first starting, they're like going on holidays and going to concerts and doing this and that. I didn't do any of that. Like, hmm. I'd never been on a girls' holiday before. Like, hmm. I went, I went to my first concert like a couple of years ago. Hmm. Um, you know, it sounds daft, but like just regular stuff, I didn't do. Um, and I never, ever, ever made plans. Or if someone was like, uh, listen, Lanch, it's my birthday. Uh, on this date, we're going out here. Um, I'd be like, well, pencil me in, but I might be fighting. Even if I didn't have a fight, I'd be like, um, it would be a, I'm only coming if it doesn't affect training. Yeah. And like that, that was my life for ages. Um, so to actually uh, be able to like just plan stuff is new for me. Mm. Um, 
Except obviously when I used to fight, like I said, I had that two weeks after. So I'd be like, right, that's when I'm going to cram everyone in. Um, this is when I'll see you and then I'll get back to training. Mm. Um, whereas now I'm just going to do you regular stuff. like Regular normal person regular stuff. Regular normal person stuff. <laughs> I don't yeah. think that'd be normal, but yeah. I wonder, and I guess you'll probably find this out. Because mm. I was going to ask you this question, but you probably won't know the answer yet. I wonder mm. if all that discipline and that fighting and mm. that life of mm. not doing the same as everybody else, I guess you're going to find out whether you do need that or not. Yeah. Because you don't know the answer to that yet. How no. long has it been? Uh, well, you only retired on Saturday. I know. Like, a couple of weeks ago. So like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, you're only a few yeah. days in. Yeah. I wonder, because that is a big adaptation. I yeah, it's a yeah. big adaptation. It is. Um, but I think, like me and Will were speaking about this not long ago, like um, uh, not eating that or uh, getting up and going to the gym when you don't feel like it. Like these are all just fucking normal now because obviously I, I honed it in from like so long ago. Yeah. The like discipline um, is just everyday life mm. um, for me now. Um like, don't get me wrong, I sleep fucking cake and, like, uh, got a massive cake from my retirement party. You know, I've, had, I've had a slice cake. every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, but it will be will be interesting. Um, I think I'll always train because I love training. Um, and, yeah, well, but, yeah, God. Exciting, Imagine right? Imagine if I just let myself go completely. I don't think think you will. I don't think so. I think you're more likely to find something to replace it. Yeah. Um, I think you're that ingrained in the discipline. Yeah. I think one of two things will happen. Either Mm. you'll be like, oh, this is marvellous. You'll see the other side of the fence where you'll be like, this is marvellous. Fuck all that. (laughs) I'm going to live my best life. Yeah. Or you might find that there's a space missing and you might fill it. Possibly. With something else. You might yeah. start growing tomatoes and stuff, Ooh. like military style. <laughs> like, you know, like the best greenhouse in the, the town. Best. You know what I mean? Hey, maybe. I think you're the type of personality, if you don't mind me saying, yeah. that whatever you do turn your hand to, mm. you are probably going to put more effort into it than 99.9% of people. Oh. You can Thank tell you. that. Uh, you mm. seem very, very, very driven. And... Yeah. Uh, to the point, actually, where I, you know there might might be a little bit of crazy in there too. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? There might be a little yeah. bit of crazy. Um, yeah. Tell me about. Um, mm. You mentioned it. Tell me about the lab. So the lab is. Yep. The lab. That's um, the gym. The gym. Yeah. The gym. It's you and Will. Me and Will. And you're doing. So I'm guessing Will's doing the boys uh, jujitsu. Yep. So we do MMA, jujitsu, boxing for MMA, and then ladies' classes. And, and what are you teaching? Yeah. I do uh, all the kids. We do four to six, seven to 11, 12 to 15. Yeah. And I do women's Thai boxing, women's jiu-jitsu. Right. Yeah. And you're taking on new members. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, hot and cold therapy, N-E. <gasps> yes. This that is our newest venture. Piece of my heart, this. You should come. Well, I've got my own little setup. Have you? It's called a bath. <laughs> right, got a bath, magic thing. Yeah, like you. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I like difficult things. So yes. I'm currently waking up. Yeah. Before the gym. Yeah. We're in a nice cold bath. Yeah. Having a conversation with myself. Yeah. Trying to talk myself out of it. Yeah. Every morning, mm-hmm. getting in that fucking bath. Good on you. Then there for three minutes. Love it. Yeah. And then getting in the sauna after the gym. Yeah. Nice. But when I seen this, I was like, yes. Yeah, yes. I just love fucking a bit of this. And yeah. why? Do I, I, you must be the first person in the town for this. Yes. Because I ain't seen this shit. I and know. this is crazy. Why aren't people yeah. doing this? I know. The problem is, yeah. it's book appointment. It is. Right? Yeah. Someone like me who does it yeah. every day, oh, it's yeah. going to be a fucking nightmare, isn't it? Mm. Or, or I'll be your best customer. You could be. One of the two. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, we'd, um, it was Will's idea. He'd been wanting to do it for... For a while. Obviously, during lockdown, everyone was getting them baths, out, yeah. out, outdoor baths, weren't yeah, yeah, they? Yeah. Um, and uh, <laughs> I was like, I can't see the fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Where did, the, where did the bath come from? What type of a bath is it? It is. Um, it's a dual-filtered, uh, huge fucking bath. 
Um, it goes so much. only goes down. I say only it goes down to three degrees. Uh, you can heat it as well, but obviously That's take a fucking ages. And who needs a hot bath? Exactly. Um, but we didn't realize how fucking big it was. Uh, Will was like, "Oh, we think the bath's going to arrive tomorrow. Will you be able to come down the gym and help me get it in the gym?" I said, "Yeah, yeah, no bother." He rang us. He went, "Yeah, I'll answer you. The bath's here. Can you come down?" I said, "Yeah, yeah, no bother." I went down right. It weighed two hundred kilos. No way. And it was so big it wouldn't go through the fucking door. So obviously that's on us. We didn't measure it properly. Right, yeah. Um, oops. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> so we had to take out the fucking window. Um I was like, Will, do you not take out a window? He's like, oh, yeah, I'll figure it out. Um took out the window. We had to go get a forklift and like lift the fucker through the window. A few of the lads from the gym helped us uh set it down, and then that was it. It's in its resting place. It's right. not moving. <laughs> no, it's definitely no. not moving. It couldn't if it wanted to. No. 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 So you're taking um, on people can for the hot and cold therapy. People yeah. can just get in touch and they can book mm-hmm. to what do they book an hour slot or what? Uh, it's fifty minutes. Fifty just or fifteen. Fifty. Fifty. Just to give us ten minutes in case anyone books in after um, right. to uh, get it ready. What's the opening hours on that place? Eight to eight. Eight to eight every yeah. day. Uh, Monday to Friday, eight to eight, and then Saturday nine till twelve. Saturday night or 12. Mm. And to get in touch, they just find Just the on page. Instagram. It's literally just done on there. Instagram, Hot and Cold Therapy, Northeast. Book now. So we're going to round it up soon. Yeah. Um, as somebody who's achieved what you've achieved, as somebody that's just gone to, <laughs> gone to all kinds of extremes mm-hmm. and won and, and, mm. and did it, do you have any advice for... I was going to say young people. Mm. Let's just say people. People in general. Yeah. Yeah. Got any advice for people who want to follow in your footsteps slash example? Um, uh, Yes. Uh, I would say if something makes you uncomfortable, you should definitely do it. Um, There's so many fucking times that, uh, like I was getting nervous just coming here. Um, really? It, yeah, it's meeting new people and it's doing something different. Um, we were too. We thought you were going to punch our heads in. You know? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> <a> smile. No. <laughs> Best behavior. <Yeah. laughs> um, no, like like jetting off to like fly at these different places and stuff. Like I was fucking terrified knocking on that gym door, thinking like Rhonda's going to be on the other side. Or, but I'm like, you've just got to fucking do it. If you don't, if you let fear stop you from doing things you'll never get anything fucking done um and yeah and and one of the things i lacked was was believing in myself and that's um that's something i'd like to try and help instill into like my students um coming through um because like you said you need that to 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 i think make it to the top um but yeah just uh yeah Fuck yes. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Fuck yeah. Love That's that. the one in itself. But what Love you saying? that. Uncomfortable situations. Great. Put, yourself, yes. put yourself in them. Anything, Fucking damn right. Anything can to. happen from that. Love yeah. that. You know what? Not even yeah. if you're going to be a professional fighter, just anything, anything. in life. Anything. Fucking anything. Anything. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you, you're now, you're at home, you're 25 stone, you can't get off the couch, you're eating bad food, you're in a bad rut. Yeah. You don't want to get up and go for a walk. Yeah. Get up and get go up. for the walk. Yeah. Have the pie when you get back. But yes, go and have the walk. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, man. Here, here. Mm. That's um. Yeah, man. That got me. That there. Oh. Do difficult things. Do difficult things. Yes. So finally, um, the lab down in mm-hmm. Hot and Cold Northeast. Mm-hmm. Uh, just one more time. Mm-hmm. Tell us uh, how can people book sessions with you in both the lab and the Hot and Cold? Is it just Instagram pages? Uh, yeah. Well, we've got a website for the lab, which so, is uh, thelabmmagym.com. The lab MMA gym dot com. com. So you'll be able to see the full timetable on there. But um Instagram, Facebook, uh email address through the website. Uh I I I answer all of those. So it'll be me that you're talking to. Um to arrange any training you would like to do. Is the timetable updated? Like regularly? Yes, we updated that recently, but there's one change I need making. Yeah? Yeah. Is that your responsibility? No, that's Will's. I need a message. Yes. <laughs> but barring those 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 women that you see the women's MMA yeah, sessions, yeah. Um, other than that, everything is up to date. 
So, yeah. So it's www.thelabmmagym.com. The Lab yeah. MMA. We will gym. link com. everything below. Oh, thanks. We'll link it all. Cool. Um, lunch. Mm. This has been absolutely amazing. Oh, it's been cool. Um, completely mind blown and honored to meet you. Oh, um, I think you're a massive inspiration. Mm. Um, I think you've achieved amazing things. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, thank you for coming. No, thank you. Um, and we'll see you next time. Yes, awesome.